Hey guys, what is going on? Klaus here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Today we are on my channel 9 and we're going to be doing some level 15 archer queen queen walks. Now I'm excited about today because I've been planning on doing it for quite some time. I've got my Boston Special Army training up. Actually, we're only a couple of minutes away and once we start our boost, it'll be instant. But we have our Boston Special. I've only got a level 15 queen. However, my old Boston Special used to only have level 3 healers and I think I'm going to stick with five healers even though ours are level four just because it's always good to have that, that extra healer we want to keep our queen alive that way we can farm over and over again and get that loot that's what today is all about guys thank y'all so much for tuning in by the way I did not request for bowlers I requested for any ground troops and somebody a wonderful in my clan gave me bowlers so very very excited and very happy about that so let's get this boost started guys everybody out there thank y'all so much for tuning in let's get this thing going guys I'm going to boost Smack that boost button with me guys. Let's farm together and see who can get the most loot so Let's go ahead and hit that that's 30 gems and that is gonna be 10 and then our king is level 12 and our queen is level 15 and now guys we're ready to go out on the first queen walk attack now I don't know exactly what to expect because it has been it feels like a century since I've played on this account so it's it's gonna be weird looking through Crystal League as a tunnel nine and trying to find good bases to hit uh, so we'll just see we'll see how it goes guys I'm I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be exciting by the way guys for the record shout out to my MVP from last night it's a very special thank you to Justin Davis for the biggest donation of the night uh, with two hundred dollars and some cents uh, so special thank you again to Justin Davis I will now reset the MVP first donation that's uh, ends up first donation that comes through will end up being the MVP and also guys we reached our donation uh, goal yesterday at getting a new laptop so now I am looking to get a brand new CPU for the computer that I'm using so that we can bring 60 frames per second video so that's the next big thing that we're gonna be uh, getting ready to uh, to purchase for the computer and for the channel obviously all for the channel guys now here is 5,000 Dark Elixir, and I'm thinking there might be, I mean, the Dark Elixir's all in the middle, right? I mean, we got tons of Dark Elixir in the middle, but I guarantee you there are Teslas and Expos in the middle with that Dark Elixir, so we, there's no way that we would be able to get that Dark Elixir. We have to be very picky, considering our Queen is only level 15. Uh, we have to be very picky as to how we use our Queen Walk uh, to get loot. So I'm very excited, guys. There's a 3,000 Dark Elixir. Of course, we still have level 3 Expos surrounding that queen I'm I'm thinking we might try some of that and it'll try some of that level three expo uh, later on but I'm, I'm just now getting started guys so I don't know exactly what to expect out of this level 15 queen very excited though we're gonna learn today how to get a level 15 queen walk going and to how to succeed uh, that's kind of what we're all about guys trying to succeed at getting that level 15 queen walk working by the way guys if you are brand new and just now tuning in thank y'all so much for being here please smack that subscribe button and join the klaus family uh daily clash of clans content we're gonna be streaming every single day now at noon central standard time that is negative six of greenwich time i believe it's called greenwicks and uh, for some reason the alert did not go off but we have received a donation from a buddy deported taco i love it his message is howdy there folks and he donated one dollar so let's go ahead and throw him in as the new mvp thank you very much let's get some donation hype up in the chat for deported taco deport ted deport ted there we go deported taco there we go guys the new mvp has been updated thank you thank you taco you're the absolute best my man every single drop adds up guys every single drop all right so i'm starting to get a little impatient let's try to find us a base i mean of course we all know farming is all about patience so it's about picking that base that we think we can take on but maybe i don't need to be as afraid oh my goodness guys we need some loot hype in the chat now that is just crazy what i just found guys look at that seven hundred thousand gold six hundred forty nine thousand elixir only a little bit uh, 2300 dark elixir but that is a ton of loot on a dead tunnel all nine look uh, don't uh, loot hype in the chat loot hype in the chat okay so let's let's do this let's let's uh where's the sweeper okay we're gonna kill the queen with our queen that's what we're gonna do first one two three four five 
She is actually outside of any range of any other defense, so that's perfect. And now, I would like for the queen to go to the right. So let's throw down one, two, three, four, five. Let's put down a few giants and a bunch of archers. Hopefully, we can funnel the queen to the right because of this sweeper. I just don't want to deal with that sweeper. And I want my queen to take out and, and you know, handle this uh, air defense as well. So... Giants are up ahead, tanking very nicely. The archers are funneling. Let's put down the rest of our giants to make sure that we get this funnel very nicely established. We need to upgrade our giants. That might be what we focus on today. Actually, no. The, um, the laboratory is being used right now currently for the golems. So, no, we can't, uh, we can't, we can't do anything else in the lab right now. But good thing the wow, we're only down to we're down to one healer. What in the world? Okay, well, let's poison the enemy king. We've got. The one healer on Rage Spell right now. That is, that's crazy, man. All right, so we, we definitely gonna struggle to keep the queen alive now, so let's funnel. Let's, uh, let's put the king and the bowlers in behind. Let's get a very nice group of archers behind that as well. And then let's deploy a whole bunch of wall breakers, guys. Whole bunch, whole bunch of wall breakers. Break us in, getting into that core, guys. We're gonna definitely attempt to get into the core and take out the uh, the Dark Elixir in the middle of the base. We get a lots of dead, um, you know, uncollected collectors and mines and stuff in the middle. So definitely want to uh, try to get all of that. Let's rage these bowlers in the middle, guys. Let's rage the uh, bowlers. Come on, buddies. Let's go. Pop the King's ability. Bowlers in the raid spell. Queen is just taking out that town hall. Perfect. All right. And then the raged bowlers from our clan castle grab that storage that was perfect guys all the spells have been used as well so now we are left with just the queen ability and 19 archers i would like to be able to grab the rest of the loot uh i just don't know how successful we might be with that queen only having one healer left we actually called it close in this first attack guys but i think we're doing just fine i'm gonna put the rest of my archers down here for the dark elixir drill i really wanted the queen to go in and grab that second dark or second gold storage but I don't think that's going to work out for us. And the air bomb almost took out our last healer. That was almost really, really bad. Um, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is the queen's going to take out this last cannon. Then I'm going to pop her ability on the second cannon. And hopefully this healer will heal her up. So pop her ability. She'll take out that cannon. And then we'll let the, uh, we'll let the healer heal her up real quick. Come on. And then we're going to close out. So we didn't quite get all the loot, but we got a lot of the loot and a full loot bonus. Guys, as soon as that arch tower targeted our queen. So guys, that was not too bad. We need to get some loot hype in the chat for our first attack of the day. 590,000 gold, 579,000 elixir, and 2,371 dark elixir, plus a full Crystal League 2 a loot bonus of 55,000 golden elixir and 220 dark elixir. That was a great way to start off the whole thing, especially since our queen almost died because our healers are almost disappeared. But we got it, guys. We did it. We did good. So we got our next army already trained up. Let's get a poison spell going. The Boston special, guys. I love the Boston special because it costs zero dark elixir. Zero dark elixir. 187,000 elixir is not terrible. Uh, for a full-fledged Queen Walk army. I'm going to request for ground troops. We'll wait for this poison spell. Obviously, guys, those bowlers came in the clutch last time. We won't have bowlers every attack. Um, I'm not even going to wait for clan castle troops this time. We'll just see what we find. But that was a solid loot grab, guys. Don't you think? Can you level 6 Queen Walk? Uh, yeah, you can, actually. Rose? Rose? Rose EP? <laughs> yes, you can level 6 Queen Walk. I don't recommend it because the, the level 6 Queen is... Uh, I don't know. She's, she's a little weak. I recommend really getting to at least level 10 queen before you queen walk. Uh, but you can pull it off, especially if you've got five healers and rage spells. All right, guys. So we are going back out. We don't have a clan castle this time, but that's just going to have to be okay. This base would be awesome to hit because it is, uh, you know, the walls are a little low and stuff. But the problem is the... Expo set on ground there would wreck those level four expos would wreck so we got to definitely be selective about which bases we choose here we're gonna find some good bases don't you guys worry does a king walk exist it does not actually a king walk is not an <laughs> a recognized attack strategy that you would use in war or anything like that here's another dead tunnel nine guys the expos are down which is solid and the queen is on the exterior 
and all of the air defenses are uh, grabbable, are, are in the range of the queen. So let's do this. Let's take out this camp, put our healers in behind, and then I've got a poison spell. This is a level 15 queen, so a little bit stronger than normal. Let's throw down that poison spell, and there's three point defenses out here as well. So let's drop that rage spell preemptively, just in case. Better safe than sorry is the, the thing I heard recently for queen walks. So... Because all the loot's on the exterior of the base, guys, we're gonna just walk around. This is gonna be a legit queen walk. If you break your queen into the base, it's a queen charge. Um, and if you walk her around the base, it's a queen walk. So we'll just see, guys. We'll just see. We've got two Max Town All 9 level Archer Towers on us right now, but she is handling herself just fine. Five healers is a, a safer bet for, for farming, but it's gonna decrease your firepower, so you probably won't three star. Uh, but we don't really care about the three star right now. If we wanted to three star, we'd be bringing a heavier army. I like this army because it's good for farming. So, Queen looks like she's gonna go up to the north, which is just fine. I'm gonna deploy, let's see, I'm gonna deploy a couple of giants and grab that loot out of there. We'll figure out a way to get that dark elixir, but I wanna make sure right now that our Queen gets this air defense. She should, in theory she will, uh, right after this elixir collector. So let's see, the elixir collector's gonna drop, she's gonna turn on the air defense, perfect. Hopefully the air defense doesn't kill us. Nope. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Everything is going perfectly according to plan right now. She's going to get all that gold, and then she'll come around. She'll actually grab that uh, that Dark Leaks right out of the drill, too. So let's use a couple of giants and grab the Golden Elixir out of these storages, uh, these collectors of mines on the outside. And then, oh, man, we, we how did we miss these? <laughs> I thought we actually went for those. Okay, yeah, they're almost dead. Okay, sweet. So the queen should be good. Should be good. Oh, yeah. I'm a poet. I didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> giants tanking. We definitely need to upgrade our giants next, guys, because they are weak. Now, the queen should handle the gold mine and this dark elixir drill, but we need to get this dark elixir drill here. So let's throw down our king here. Let's lay down our archers very thick-like. That's a word. Thick-like. And then we'll also break our king in on this wall. We don't need these wall breakers for any other reason besides that. King, where are you going? Why? Why? Why would you do that? Okay, well, the, the archers got it anyway, so no big deal. Okay, so the queen, for some reason, decides she wants to break into the base. So let's go ahead and just let her. Let's go ahead and help her out. And then we got about 30 seconds to go, guys. So... Let's see, is there anything of value left in the base? Not really, guys, not really. I don't think we need to waste any more spells. She's definitely going to get that Dark Elixir out of that drill, and there's no other loot of, val of like, you know, good, intense value. So let's pop the Queen's ability, grab that, uh, that Dark Elixir drill. She'll grab some more easy percentage, and then we will cut out, guys. That was awesome. A Tesla, actually, once that Tesla locks onto the Queen, we'll get out of here. Just because Teslas are pretty brutal. Actually, you know what? Every second she does damage and gets percentage is extra loot with our loot bonus. You know, we don't want to cut out. We don't want to cut out and short ourselves. Sweet. Okay, so 60%. We had over 400,000. Let's add the loot bonus to it, guys. We had over 450,000 gold, over uh, almost about 440,000 elixir, and about 1,400 dark elixir. Again, not that great with the dark elixir, but our army costs zero dark elixir. So that was great. And look at that. We got some bowlers from Chase. Thank you, Chase. All right. So let's get the next army trained up. Well, wait, wait. What's what's the hold up here? Oh, okay. We can't we can't take on extra spells. Um now, we can handle only having one jump spell for this next army. Okay, so, next army's training up. we got a couple of minutes. We are under boost, so it shouldn't take too long. We do need a poison spell, though. Let's put that poison spell up ahead. So, once we get our troops and our poison spell, we'll go back out on the warpath, guys. Our king is waking up in just over 30 seconds. So, so far, guys, it's been a successful day. We've had two attacks so far. I did one before using up a Lunian army. That was very successful. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing very well, guys. Now, I'm considering, and this is something y'all need to consider is that the second boost if we do a second boost today will be with a random army composition i'm going to post on my twitter a poll about 10 to 15 minutes before the boost ends and it's going to have different suggestions for armies that you guys can vote on i recommend you go follow me on twitter now that way whenever that post goes live you can go vote on what army army composition i should use for the second boost now we're about to max out our elixir guys so let's go and spend our elixir as you can see on our progress base 
Very exciting, guys, because today we are doing our final elixir upgrade on the base. If we need, we need, we definitely need some hype in the chat, guys, because this is massive to do the final elixir upgrade ever for this Town Hall 9 base. Otherwise, or, you know, besides the walls that cost elixir and the lab as well. So let's go, go ahead and do this, guys. Dark elixir drill. Go into max level 6, 5 million elixir. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I don't want to max out my storages and waste loot. So let's do this, guys, in three, two, one. Bam! Nice. All right. So the dark elixir drill is done. Going to put it up here next to his buddy. This one's already maxed. And we have now one builder being used and we have four available. So it's definitely going to be a productive day today. Likely, I mean, I'm leaning already toward doing a two hour session today so that we can fill up our storages. Now, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Boston Special is ready to roll. And let's find us another base. Now, these dead bases that we keep finding are awesome because put your lab on the other side. Now, my lab is not maxed. My The lab the lab building is maxed out, but the, the upgrades are not maxed out. So I, I don't want to put the lab because I might forget to uh, get the lab going. Anyway, so it's, I would love to be able to hit some, you know, regular bases. But if I find some dead bases with tons of loot, I mean, there's no sense in passing up good loot in a dead base. You know what I mean? I'm looking for... If I find like a solid real base that's not dead, I'm looking for a minimum of about 3,000 Dark Elixir. That base was good, but not enough Dark Elixir for a, a live base. If I find a live base, uh, 3,000 Dark Elixir is our minimum. Or if we find a dead base, then it's about 300,000 gold. That's, um, that's kind of my idea right now. Can you please upload all the streams to your YouTube? Sam, I have. Every single stream that I have done is on my YouTube channel. Um, under the streams playlist or you can just go to the video uploads and they're all there all right so ooh, here we go there is a 3000 dark elixir grab and i've got bowlers in the clan castle so that should help out quite a bit that is man i just don't like <laughs> i don't like these dark elixir in the middle bases oh man we could probably find a better base than this Okay, well, you know, that is one of the limitations, guys, of using this army is that it's not a super powerful army. I want to be selective. I want to make sure that we do not fail. And uh, looks like we have another donation, Blake, with a $5 donation. Thank you, Blake. I'm sorry the alerts aren't working today, guys. Uh, but Blake has donated $5. He says, love your videos, Klaus. Keep up the great work and clash on. Blake, thank you so much for your donation. Every single dollar now going toward a new season. CPU, an upgrade for my PC so that I can start bringing 60 FPS video. So Blake with a $5, no, not, no, there, uh, come on, Blake, there we go. Couldn't spell your name for a second. Uh, Blake is now the new MVP of the day with the largest donation. Special shout out to him at Donation Hype. Thank you, man. All right, let's try to find us a good base. It's all about that base, you know what I mean? All about that base, about that base. Anybody know that song? <laughs> all right, that base would have been awesome, but the Dark Lakes, it wasn't enough. We'll find us a good base. Don't y'all worry. Don't y'all worry y'all's pretty little faces. What are Klaus coins? Good question. So Klaus coins are currently a useless virtual currency. But, um, you know, th th you're, you're actually accumulating these coins as you watch. For every minute you watch, you're gaining Klaus coin. And eventually, you're going to be able to make purchases with those Klaus coins on my website, my streamer website. So definitely look forward to that right now. Just kind of treat it as a uh, as like a savings account. You want to save up as many as you can. That way you can buy stuff with them later on. We're still working on the website. It's not quite ready yet. I predict that it will be ready and good to go by next week, probably Monday next week. That's my guess. All right, guys, looking for a good, solid base, guys. Looking forward to it. And hopefully, guys, we can find a monster base once again. We're up in Crystal League 2 right now. And um, you know what? I, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe this might not be the best place for a base of my limitations. We might want to drop down just a bit. I'm not sure. How, how many trophies do I have? I didn't actually look. I didn't actually look. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to look here in a minute. I think like 2,000 trophies might be the ideal place. We might do a little dropping in between our in between our boosts there. Hey, there's a dead base. An excellent dead base, guys. 2,700 Dark Lakes are over 300,000 gold. Let's take on this base. Both of these sweepers are pointing down. However, the it, wow, the air defenses are completely 
inaccessible by queen walk this is an anti-queen walk base which is good which is great it's good for him so let's come at the top of the base we'll put the queen up top but down our five healers and we're going to adjust by the direction that she goes actually no no no. you know what we're gonna do we're gonna break the queen in that's what we're gonna do let's drop a giant let's uh break the queen in with our wall breakers and what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow the queen to get into this compartment and then get both of those air defenses that's what i want her to do so next thing is we need to funnel out these side buildings here that way we force the queen to go into the base please go into the base queen gold mine drops we need this elixir collector to drop oh man no 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 <laughs> she is so unruly sometimes man she is so unruly sometimes she just does not want to do what she's told but hey we'll see we'll see what goes we'll, we'll see what happens um, that elixir collector over there going down will help out quite a bit. I think she's going to turn around now and come after this cannon unless the, <laughs> the giant... Oh, the giant didn't kill the cannon. Nice. Okay. So, we are in. We are good to go. Let's drop a rage spell down on the queen. And then... I don't know. I don't know what else is next, guys. The queen is going to get this wizard tower. The arch tower is outside of her range. She's going to get that air defense. Very nice. Alright. And then let's drop a jump spell. I'm going to wait just a moment, but we're going to drop a jump spell on this queen to send her into the right side. And are we going to need another rage? That That is a good question. She might walk outside the range of this arch tower over here when she goes to the right. So that is a big question. Yes, she did. And now she's aggroing this cannon. So that's good. Waiting a little bit, a little bit of patience with this queen walk is absolutely key, guys. And then we can spam our bowlers and our king and everybody in later on. There is the rage spell. Here is the jump spell. And here is the poison spell. Very nice. All right, so once I am feeling confident that she is going to survive, I'm going to spam my troops all over the place, and it's going to be solid, guys. This uh, rage spell is already depleting. That is sad, uh, but it's going to have to be all right. Now, the queen's going to take the jump spell. Oh, come on, queen. What is wrong with you? She's about to lose the jump spell. She doesn't hurry. She's only got, what, 40 seconds, maybe? Uh, do I need her, her ability? No, I'm, I'm not going to use her ability just yet. Watch, cannon drops. Yes, you took the jump. Awesome. Okay, so let's get the uh, let's get the dark elixir and everything out of there. King, put down our archers, and then our bowlers. Very nice. All right, so the queen should get all the loot on this side, and the king and the bowlers and everybody should get all the loot on this side. So this is looking solid, guys. Looking really, really good. Let's drop our wall breakers. I've got one more rage spell. Let's rage the queen one more time. That's going to allow her to get all these buildings within plenty of time. Pop the king's special ability, guys. I think we have done it, except for one gold mine queen. Why would you go for the wall? Why would the queen go for the wall when... Ugh. <laughs> this is frustrating. All right, well, I'm going to pop my queen's ability. We're going to get through this storage, and then I'm going to cut out. Why would she go for the wall when there's a gold mine behind her that's got 70,000 gold in it? That didn't make any sense. But, hey, at the end of the day, guys, we got about 300,000 gold elixir and 2,900 dark elixir. That was a good, successful raid. I could have asked for 70,000 more gold. I'm just saying. But I didn't, and uh, that's going to have to just be all right. Again, guys, a successful attack. Our third attack of the day. And uh, we're doing really well, guys. So we got some loot hype in the chat. Let's drop the next, uh, uh, what is this called again? <laughs> Boston special. And then let's request for some ground troops. A few seconds to go before our next attack, guys. It's level 15, Archer Queen, Queen Walk. Going with the Boston Special, guys. If you are just now tuning in, thank y'all so much for being here. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you are a new viewer. And guys, today we're doing the level 15 Queen Walk Boston Special. The army costs zero Dark Elixir, unless you use a poison spell, of course. And it is awesome. It will do a ton of work. It is amazing. And it uh, really doesn't cost a lot of elixir. I mean, it costs us a bit more elixir than the Lunian attack. Actually, less, but that's just because the rage spells are discounted right now. 10% of the cost, so not too bad. All right, we got a couple seconds to go, guys. We'll go without a clan castle. I'm liking this because we're able to kind of go out back to back to back and grab loot, which is amazing. And look at that. First search, we find 3,000 Dark Elixir, and it's all kind of in the middle. So if we can kind of funnel our queen to go into the center, then we would be good to go. Really, really good to go. Where is the sweeper? Sweeper's pointing up. Sweeper pointing to the right. 
Oh, man. And there's not a whole lot of point defenses in the middle. Should I go for this base? I don't know. Blake has just donated $10. And there is our... I'm not going to go for that base, guys. It just, just had too much going on in the middle. I was afraid my queen would die. Blake, with the $10 donation, he says, for your continued support to the Clash community. Two-hour stream? Yes, that is right, my man. Thank you so much for the continued support. And Blake has passed himself up as the MVP now with a $10 donation. So thank you, Blake, very much for setting the bar high for everybody else out there. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Blake. Everyone get some donation hype in the chat for Blake once again. And now, guys, we're searching, trying to find that perfect base with the perfect amount of loot to wreck with our level 15 Queen Walk Boston Special. And by the way, guys, in case you are curious about a little history lesson, the Boston Special name came from the leader of my clan, or the ex-leader of my clan, Boston Beer Party. Special shout-out to him. He has recently retired from the game. Uh, but, oh my goodness, guys. Whoa. 4,000 Dark Elixir. That is solid, guys. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to try to do. Oh, man, there's a sweeper in the way. This is rough, guys. This is a rough decision. All right, I'm going to send in my queen at this air defense here. I don't want to go. I was going to go right at the queen, but there's a sweeper. So let's put the queen down here. One, two, three, four, five. There's an enemy king here. I'm also going to break into this wall compartment. So that's good. And then let's also deploy some funnel troops on this far left-hand side. The queen is chasing the king, which is not good because there's an air defense. No. No, no, no. Bad. Queen, take out the... <laughs> Take out the air defense, please. Why? Why would you do this to me? Okay, air defense is down. Perfect. Now, the queen is going to work on this inside compartment. I've got some funnel troops working on these outside buildings so the queen doesn't get distracted. And then I'm going to jump her into the inside ring. That's going to happen here in just a moment. And what I'm hoping is that I can, after this, funnel my queen into the middle to grab the dark elixir out of the storage. Actually, I won't need to, I won't need to funnel her because she should be able to reach the Dark Elixir storage here in just a moment. She's going to take out that Archer Tower, and then she's going to take out the Wizard Tower. The Elixir storage is outside of her range. Actually, wait. The Wizard Tower was too. Let's drop the Jump Spell now. She's going to step up into the base. We've got some Giants up ahead. Um, let's put this Giant up ahead over here too. She's going to take out the storage. Oh man, there's a Clyde Castle Golem. Not good. Not good, guys. I don't think the Golem does a lot of damage, but it's just going to soak up so much time. Okay, so where's the rest of the Dark Elixir? The rest of the Dark Elixir's up here. Let's put our king down. Let's poison the enemy queen. And then let's pop our king's ability. And deploy a whole bunch of archers. And these are going to snipe a whole bunch of loot. Let's put down some wall breakers for that side over there. Enemy queen is dropped. And now our queen might get stuck behind this wall. Luckily, I saved my, uh, my jump spell so that in case. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, so the Arch Tower drops. Let's get the Queen in there. And then let's also drop the the Rage Spell because of time and stuff. And it looks like, guys, we are going to get all of this Dark Elixir. A low percentage of this attack. Or this, uh, yeah, this, this attack, but that's perfectly fine. Dark Elixir storage is going down now. Luckily, we've got a Rage Spell. Otherwise, this would be an absolute fail. Those Teslas, guys. Those Teslas are the main culprit. Let's drop the second Rage Spell. Hopefully, this queen will walk outside of the range of all these defenses. Those Expos doing tons of work. Let's get out before the queen dies, guys. Wow. So, 4,200 Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir farming at its finest today. Town Hall 9. Love it, guys. The Golden Elixir wasn't so good. We actually lost a little bit of Elixir on that raid. But, I would say it was absolutely worth it, guys. And we got bowlers again from Chase. Special shout out to my boy, Chase. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so we got our jumps. We got our rage. We used all of our spells that time. I do want a poison spell in behind. So this wait is going to be a couple more minutes before um, before we can go back out. So let's check out the chat, guys. All of y'all playing with the Klaus coins. You guys are amazing. Gambling left and right. Andrew Clutch Clan says, hey, Klaus. I say, hey, Andrew. What's going on, my man? How you doing? It's good to see you today. It won't tell me how many uh, coins I have. It's insane rubble. Um, first of all, I think it's on a 10-minute timer. So if you do check it, you have to wait 10 minutes before you can do it again. Second, if too many people are trying to figure out their um, their their coins at once, then it, the bot will get overloaded. So that might be another part of it. You just have to be patient with the bot, man. What will you be able to buy with the class coins? KG, what's going on? KG Akamoda in the house. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, I, I don't know exactly. Uh, one thing that I have decided on is Twitter follows. So you can actually purchase, uh, you can purchase 
me following you on Twitter, which, um, you know what, I think it's pretty cool because I actually will read the news feed. I do now. So that's one thing. But also, I want to be able to open it up to, uh, you know, like stream shout outs, Twitter shout outs, Instagram follows, Instagram. Well, I don't think you could do an Instagram shout out. <laughs> I don't know. But there's other options too, like clan stuff, um, uh, t-shirt stuff. That would be very expensive, but that's that's an option. I've got those t-shirts on my new website. Go check out my new website if you have not done so. By the way, there's a link down below in the video description. But, um, you know, free t-shirts or maybe be able to put out uh, gift cards or whatever that you can purchase with the Klaus coins. Remember, guys, um, I'm just a normal guy, so I can't. I can't give everybody free money, but if I have a, a fan out there that's so devoted that they end up getting so much loot or so much, I just read the word loot and it threw me off in the chat. My bad. <laughs> um, if I end up having a fan that's got so much devotion, it's, it's every stream gets so many coins. I think they deserve something tangible, something that they can hold and feel and receive um, in the mail. So, you know, all those things aside, we're, we're working on the programming side of things uh, on the website. So we're not quite there yet. We're not quite ready for that. 20 seconds to go, guys, before the spells are done. I've got a big old giant glass of water here. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Big old giant glass of water. And something I do want to check, guys, is as these spells are brewing. Okay, so the jump spells are second. So if I need to save a spell or feel like saving a spell, the jump spell would be the spell to save. I can use all of my rage spells on my queen, get all the damage, get all the loot. Look at this, guys. Another dead town hall nine. I love it, guys. All the loot's on the exterior. So easy to find. 2,700 Dark Elixir. Let's use our queen, and let's send her directly at this enemy queen. And look at that, guys. We've got some sunken-in air defenses once again, so that's not good. But um, actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, I don't know, guys. This is this is hard. This is a hard, hard decision to make. Let's... Um, there's a lot of point defenses down there. Let's go directly at the queen. So the queen is down, five healers down. We're going to put down some archers for the exterior buildings. Let's also funnel out um, those buildings out there. And then what? We need to get that air defense because I believe if the healers are drug next to the wall, the air defense will shoot her down. So let's put down a few more of these giants and then wall break in once everything targets the giants. Let's wall break her in just like so. Very nice. Let's poison the enemy queen now. Should have done that earlier, but I didn't. <laughs> and the queen, for some reason, is coming around. But, I mean, I guess that's going to just that's gonna have to be okay. Let's put down some archers. Another giant for distraction purposes. Oh, queen almost died. That was clutch, guys. We almost lost our queen. But the queen is is okay now. Dang, that was, that was scary stuff. Now queen's going to get this archer tower. Not this archer tower. This elixir storage. The archer tower is shooting her. So, man, that was crazy close. Crazy, crazy close. Let's drop all of our wall breakers and get the queen into this compartment now. And, oof, that was clutch. That was scary close, guys. The queen almost bit the dust and then it would have been, that, that would have been it. Let's drop a rage spell. Perfect deployment for that. And now, guys, we're kind of forcing the queen into the base, which is good because of the air defenses. The air defenses. We want to get the air defenses before the air defenses get us, if you understand what I mean by that. So, queen is grabbing that. This sweeper is actually protecting my uh, my healers from the air defense. So, that is perfect. And look at this, guys. The elixir storage has dropped a second raid spell. There we go. She's going to deal with the air defense and the enemy king, but that raid spell is going to keep her alive. And then... Dragon Ball Z, 808 with the $10 uh, super chat. Thank you so much for the donation, my man. And uh, tying the MVP, so the original MVP is going to retain the title. But man, congrats, uh, uh, but man, thank you. Let's drop the king and the bowlers. Let's put down the archers. And let's get some donation hype in the chat for Dragon Ball Z, 808. Papa King's ability here. The only thing I think we're going to miss out on, guys, is this uh, gold mine over there, but it's all by itself. I don't think there's any way we could get to it. And uh, jump spells. We didn't need to use a single jump spell. So I think it would be a safe bet for us to go ahead and close out. I mean, there's nothing else that we can accomplish here, and I don't want to lose my queen. So let's go ahead and close out. The queen has survived. We ended up with 2,700 dark elixir and over 300,000 golden elixirs. That was a solid attack, guys. Solid attack. 
considering the queen did not go into our original entry points. Very nice. Now we got extra jump spells, so let's cancel those out and start our next Boston special. Ground, and also we need another poison spell. And let's check out what Dragon Ball Z said, man. Dragon Ball Z, he says, been a subscriber since the first 200. Holy cow. I saw the potential in you as an amazing YouTuber. Oh, man, thank you for the Clash Clans community. Keep up the amazing and awesome work. Hype for 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, I mean, we're getting there. We're at 87,962, so we're getting there, man. Thank you so much, Dragon Ball Z. You're amazing, and we need some more donation hype in the chat for him. And were you really part of that original 200? That's that's crazy. That was like Christmas 2015, a long time ago. All right, guys, so we've requested for troops. Our spells are almost done. Our healers are almost done as well. The loot is coming pretty well for us today as we keep finding these dead tunnel nines. 27, 2700 Dark Elixir, roughly, which is perfect for me. I'm fine with that, especially on a dead base, which is a lot easier to attack. We got bullets again from Chase. Everyone give Chase some love in the chat. That was just crazy. This guy's amazing. This guy's an absolute monster. You got a couple of minutes to go, and then we are ready to go. 45 seconds for the king to wake up. Balloons or go wipe in war? Do not use go wipe in war. Bad idea. Go wipe sucks. Now, there are people out there that swear by go wipe, but it's just been... Burned into my head, guys, that go wipe is a two-star attack strategy. And war is not won by two stars. War is won by three stars. So don't use go wipe. Unless it's, you know, unless you just have a special gift and you can three-star with go wipe. If you can, good for it. Good, good on you, man. Good job. Hey, Klaus, how do I get involved in the Builder Bash tournament? Oh, nice, Nathan. What's going on, Nathan? It's good to see you, man. Um... So the Builder Bash tournament is about to go live to the public. It's not quite live yet. So just uh, bear with me. I will definitely announce when it's live. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to set up a Discord server. I'm going to set up a website. Everything is going to be devoted to the Builder Bash. Not everything on my channel, but like those things. It's going to be really good. All right, guys. We got three seconds to go before our next army is ready. And let's do it. Yes, guys. We've had some excellent luck so far today. Let's see what else we can find. It's going to be solid. It's going to be amazing. 3,000 Dark Elixir in that base, but I don't know. I don't know. You, When you look at bases, you can instantly... I mean, if you have as much experience as I do, then you instantly know whether you want to hit it or not. Like this one, excellent gold, terrible Dark Elixir. I'm trying to get both, Dark Elixir and Elixir and gold. I want all of it. I need every single bit of it. You know what I mean? All right, Blake. Blake has donated an extra $2. Uh, so thank you, Blake. I apologize that the alerts aren't working. I'll definitely look into that and see if I can get it fixed. But Blake says donation hype. We need some more donation hype for our boy Blake, our MVP so far of the day. Thank you so much, man. Every dollar going toward that new computer hardware, that CPU that I'm trying to get. It's going to be awesome being able to do stuff in 60 frames per second. I won't be able to stream in 60 FPS. Uh, because my internet's got limits, but the uh, actual like uh, the actual videos that I put on the channel will be in 60 FPS. Wow, that is crazy! Look at that base, 600,000 elixir. It's not dead though. The dark elixir is not very good, uh, but it's uncollected. That's a that's pretty solid of, of loot. Can we get this loot? If we do, it's only going to be half, and it's only that's only 300,000. We can find a better base, guys. Uh, we can find a better base. Don't y'all worry. I believe it. I believe it. Plus, the bot's not telling me any points I have. Um, that's probably because the bot's overwhelmed. Just be patient with it. I didn't see the entire video. How was the Builder Hall 6 tournament? The Builder Hall 6 tournament was awesome, guys. I had so much fun being flown out to Supercell's headquarters in Helsinki, Finland once again. And uh, just had a blast, man. I mean, I, I didn't win. I'm not going to ruin the winner for you. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I recommend you go check it out. But we had some fun. We had a good time, for sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this uh, this is a very clear priority base right here. And I am going to attack this base and send my queen in through this little corridor here. 
hopefully to get this air defense and the dark elixir. Actually, no, no, no. A better way to do this, I'm going to start at the corner and I'm going to funnel out this corner right here. So let's put the queen in. Um, let's put the queen in here, just like so. Put the uh, the uh, healers in. Let's also funnel out this side, but we also need to funnel out this side up here. So uh, there we go. Very nice. Put down two more giants and funnel out the side out here. We don't want the queen to turn around the wrong direction. That's always a bad idea and always a bad thing. All right, guys, so what we're doing... Oh, yeah, yeah, I need to break these walls here. There we go. All right, we're taking on so much damage right now. Pop the queen's ability a little earlier than I prefer in the middle of an attack. But look at this, guys. So we're actually forcing the queen to go into the base. Now, there's nowhere for her to go but into the base. Let's drop a rage spell on her for this air defense. And she will grab the Stark Elixir. Why are you not grabbing the air defense? What's wrong with you, woman? There we go. Air defense going down. We got a level 3 ground expo destroying the queen right now. But we still have four healers. So that is solid. We got the Dark Elixir out of the storage. This is a good start, guys. Now, where's the best place to use our king and our bowlers and our, the rest of our archers? That's kind of the next big question once you get through uh, grabbing the main, the main objective. And that main objective for me was that Dark Elixir storage. So that worked out really, really well. Uh, just to, just to, you know, like a throwback of what I was talking about a minute ago, you want to funnel out the groups on, if you want the queen to go into the middle, you've got to force her to go into the middle by removing everything on either side, that's called a funnel, so that actually worked out really, really well for us. Now, before we commit to any other deployment, we need to poison this queen, watch this guys, the queen drops a poison, we drop, pop, drop the poison on the queen, and bam, alright, the queen is down, that should actually work really, really well. Let's uh, let's deploy a couple of wall breakers because of that. Dang it! Because of that um, air defense over there. There we go. All right. Do we need another rage spell? I think we're gonna need another rage spell. Let's drop this. Okay, another rage spell down. That's gonna help deal with that sweeper and that other air defense and. Dank Engine with a $5 donation through Super Chat. Thank you, Dank Engine. I will read your message here in just a bit, my man. Very nice, guys. Thank y'all so much. You guys bless me so much with all these donations. Let's put the king down here. Let's put the archers down behind. Real nice and thick, but let's leave a few. And can we grab, guys, can we grab the Dark Elixir out of that drill? That's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. Oh, the giant bomb. No! Dang it. All right, the archers are grabbing that Dark Elixir out of the drill. That is perfect. And the queen is grabbing all the loot over there. So do we want to use our bowlers? Yeah, well, let's use the bowlers to grab the Dark Elixir. There we go. All right. And then the archers on this far side. We're not going to use any, guys. We're not going to use any of our jump spells once again. That is perfect. I love it. So we got pretty much all the Dark Elixir. We got a lot of Golden Elixir. We missed out on some of the storages, but that's that's what happens whenever you're farming with such a weak and uh, well a, a low maintenance attack. That's the best way to put it. Low maintenance attack. Um, not a lot of firepower, but we got what we came for, guys. 3590 plus 200, so like 37, 3800 Dark Elixir plus over 300,000 Golden Elixir. So that was still absolutely perfect, guys. Let's get some loot hype in the chat for that. Um, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I love these technical attacks. I love how, um, how much they challenge your brain. And let's, we need to get a poison spell up in here. The poison spells are super important, guys. We got two minutes before our next clan castle request, but our troops and our spells are done in 40 seconds. So that must mean, guys, that, um, we're not going to have a clan castle for the next attack. We need to consider that whenever we're attacking. Now, let's check out what, uh, what our boy Dank Engine said. He said, can you advertise my clan? It's called Nova Instinct. The top players are K's in Titan League. Uh, brand new clan, by the way, great stream. Thank you. Thank you, Dank. I read your message. Shout out to your clan. Nova Instinct. That sounds kind of kind of pretty. That sounds pretty sweet, actually. And then, guys. Whoa, Brandon Warren with another five dollar donation. Thank you so much for donating through Super Chat. And he says, "Class, I love your videos. Keep up the great work. You're always so positive and nice. Get that laptop and that hardware. I'm rooting for you, Brandon Warren. Coming in the clutch, guys. I need some donation hype for these guys. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channels, for supporting the the you know the equipment I'm trying to get for the channel and everything." Absolutely amazing, guys. Thank y'all so much. Now, guys, our next army is ready to go, so let's go find us another 
base. Guys, today has been a fun day so far. The loot has been solid. Having a blast. And look at that. A dead Town All 9. That's what I needed to see right there. We've got some dead Expos. We have Dark Elixir in the storage. We need to we need to focus on that storage. Let's, let's go after the Queen side, okay? There is an open corridor. This is a corridor base, which I've uh, preached against many times. But let's go through the corridor. So let's put the Queen down. We're going to go at the Queen. And from the back end of the Sweeper, let's put some Giants down and funnel out these buildings very nicely. And uh, again, no clan castle troops. So that is a bummer, but that's just how it is. Um, today, at least. At least right now. We're gonna... Yeah, we got the funnel on the top nicely established. And now the queen is... Uh, I think she will definitely come into the middle. We got a poison, a poison spell for the enemy queen. And um, uh, yeah, gold mine drops. I'm kind of worried about that dark elixir drill and that mortar, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. Poison spell on the enemy queen. Level 6 queen, so not that big of a deal. We don't need a rage spell. Usually, I, I generally, I put a rage spell down for like a level 15 queen and up. So we're going to grab this storage. Uh, again, I'm kind of worried about this, uh, this mortar and stuff. So let's get rid of the mortar and the dark elixir drill as quickly as we can. I don't think there's anything on the bottom that's going to distract her. She's going to go into the base. She's going to grab the Stark Elixir. And there's likely a Tesla farm in the middle. So we definitely want to make sure that we are funneling. Or that we're, that we're properly raging our queen when she gets anywhere near that Tesla farm. That air defense drops. So very nicely done there. And now, guys, what else can we do? What else can we do? A lot of loot on the right. A lot of loot on the bottom. So let's use our giants just for now. Let's put a few archers down for this loot on the bottom. And I've got my king. I definitely want to use my king, but there's some more dark elixir on this far drill here. So let's deploy the king. Let's uh, funnel out out there. Put everything down very strong there. And uh, let's deploy our wall breakers. We don't really need them for this attack. So let's deploy the wall breakers, get the king into that dark elixir drill. Everything is looking good there. Pop king's ability. And now, guys, let's deploy a Rage Spell just a little early. We've got her special ability if she doesn't quite get into the range very well. Um, and I've got nine archers as well. So King dies on the outside. That's not good, but can't do anything about that. Let's hope this Queen dra grabs his Dark Elixir storage. There we go, guys. There we go. Let's poison this enemy uh, Skeleton Trap because that could be a big problem for us. And we need another Rage Spell because of the Tesla farm. Very good. Now, is she going to go into the wall? Is that what she's trying to do now? No, no. She's getting the expo. Okay. She's going to grab the expo. She's going to go through this corridor. Oh, seeking air mines of death. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's use our archers to grab the rest of these, uh, the, the gold mines and stuff out there. We'll pop our queen's ability. And if things are starting to look a little bleak, we'll cut out early. There's no sense in hanging out anymore. We got all the Dark Elixir, which is what we came for. The Sweeper is going to be a problem, guys. Let's pop her ability, let her heal up very nicely, and then we're going to cut out in uh, just a moment. Gold, uh, gold mine drops. We got a. Uh, the sweeper's not doing anything right now. That's actually really nice. Let's let's see. This arch tower drops. So seeking air mines earlier really messed up our healing ability. But I'm gonna let her grab this elixir. That is good stuff right there. That is that is good pink elixir that I love to get. There we go. Awesome. So we ended up with a 65%, 300,000 gold elixir, 1,749 dark elixir. So we didn't we didn't get quite as much as I would have liked, but not too bad, guys. 350,000 with the loot bonus and uh, just under 2,000 dark elixir. So not our best, but not terrible either. Not terrible either. All right, so we have uh, we've already gotten our jump spells. Let's put in actually a poison spell. Get the next boss and special going. Request for troops and Blake has. Come in the clutch again. Wow, man. Blake is just crazy today. He's donated another $2 and his message says, best YouTuber and an amazing streamer. Hashtag Klaus Hype. Klaus, <laughs> hashtag Klaus Hype. Okay, well, let's get some donation hype in the chat because Blake is the bomb and he deserves it. He deserves that, that hype. Our next army is going, guys. We're doing well. Looking forward to it. We got 14 minutes left in this boost. And then, all right, so let's, I'm going to post a tweet, guys. Follow me on Twitter, at Klaus underscore media. There's a link down below in the uh, the stream's description. Uh, also, the handles is up at the top of the screen. I'm going to tweet, let me, let me say it out loud. What army comp should I use next in my stream? Good idea. In my in my during the stream. Okay, and the options are going to be Lunian, because everyone loves Lunian. Barch, because everyone loves Barch. Um 
continue with the queen walk. Or, one more. What else should we use? Go wipe? No, I'm not gonna use go wipe. It's too heavy for farming. If you're gonna be farming, you need to use cheap stuff, right? I mean, I got Lunian. Oh, Gigabarch. Or Gigabarch. Nice, and I love how it autocorrects for me. Okay, so the amount of time that I want this to go is how long is the boost? 12 minutes. We'll do 13. All right, guys, so you have 13 minutes to go on and vote for the poll to decide what army composition I'm going to use in the next boost. Now, I've got my spells. I've got my army. My clan castle has been requested. Next army is training up. We are good to go so far. Everything is looking nice. Everything is looking beautiful. Where do you live in Texas? Ah, Texas is a big place, man. I, I live here. That's all I'm going to say. What CPU are you planning on buying? I'm going to buy an i7 quad core. I don't remember the number, uh, but it's a pretty awesome CPU. It's, a, it's, it's what I need for sure. Barge to save elixir and dark elixir. Low Chris, that's a good idea. Blake plays. Blake plays. Nice. Blake plays has donated. Is that the same Blake? Has donated $2 through Super Chat. Thank you very much. And his vote is the Queen Walk. Well, go vote on Twitter, man. Also, by the way, guys, if you are a new viewer and you're just now tuning in, be sure and hit that subscribe button and join the class family for daily Clash of Clans content, streaming and videos, having a blast all the time, guys. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I can only say that it is a blast being here with you guys. Thank you all so much for everything that you all do, um, especially because we just have a lot of fun. All right, so let's go out and do another attack. We have ourselves another super chat. We got Alex Rodriguez. What's going on, Alex? Thank you so much, my man. Let's see what his message says. He says, love your channel and all the content. Keep up the great work. Can you review my base? Also, Vax to 3 or Witches to 2 for the next troop upgrade. Vax to 3 would assume you're a Town Hall 9. So I would say Witches just because the Witch MSMD attack strategy is so good for war. Um, and um, I'm not going to be doing any base reviews in this stream. Um, I don't know. I, I might, I, I'm not really, I'm not playing on doing base review stream today, but I do them very often. So just, um, you know, keep me in mind for sure. And Blake plays with another $2 super chat. And he says, yes, this is the same Blake. Nice. Well, thank you, Blake. You're awesome, man. <laughs> Donation high up in the chat again for our amazingly incredible generous donators. You guys are absolutely amazing helping me uh, afford this new, what is this called again? CPU. I've got it up on the screen. Okay. Here is a half a million golden elixir uncollected Town Hall 9. I think a good idea would be to take out the queen and go directly at this air defense. That's a good way to start the attack. So let's get this queen. Also, simply because the uh, the sweeper is pointing the opposite direction. So it's a good place for the queen to start. And I am not going to funnel the queen because I don't really care which direction she goes, actually. Let's get the poison spell ready. We're going to double uh, purpose this poison spell, hopefully. Take out the enemy queen. And then once the our queen steps up, she will aggro the enemy king. There we go. And look at that, guys. He is in that poison spell. Perfect. Archer Tower drops. There is no problem with this queen. Or this enemy king. Very nice. <laughs> I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. The enemy king drops. So we've gotten both the queen and the king. We're going to get this Tesla. And uh, look at that P.E.K.K.A. statue. Nice. Fancy. Fancy stuff. We're going to get this Elixir Storage. And then we're going to get the Queen Altar. By the way, guys, just a heads up. If you are just choosing not to follow me on Twitter, I understand. It's all good. But if you do, I am doing a giveaway for my subscribers. For whoever retweets my pinned tweet. My top tweet where I'm holding gift cards. Yeah, it's a photo. So go retweet that if you have not done that already. The giveaway is going to be on July 31st, which is in 12 days. So... Uh, the winner will be randomly chosen from that. So, I think we're good. All the Dark Elixir's in the middle, though. I just realized that. Oh, man. That is not good, man. The... Ugh. Okay. Let's get these collectors in these mines first. I'm going to use all of my giants. I'm going to use all... Or not all, but I'm going to use a big portion of my arches to grab all the Elixir out of the storages. Or the, the collectors in the mines there. And then... Uh, let's see. We're going to make sure we get it all. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Get it. Get it. Get it. Sweet. Queen's doing okay down there. Sweet. She's going to get a lot of that gold. Let's use the king 
on that there. We're going to use the king to get all that gold out of the gold mine. We're actually aggroing a level 3 expo right now. That is not good. Pop the king's ability, get him ahead, grab all these gold mines there. And then we don't really have any more uh, funneling troops. So let's put our archers down very strongly. Let's also pop our queen's ability if we need it. Let's break the queen into the base. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff going on there. Yes, we got in. Nice. All right, let's drop a jump spell. Let's also rage the queen. And then hopefully, there's no other way to say it, hopefully she decides to go into the core. There's a good chance that she will not, but I, uh, you know what? I figured trying is better than not trying. So we got all the loot on the outside of the base. The rest of the loot, the dark elixir, is in the, the middle, in the core there. And, uh, Wizard Tower is going down. Come on, turn around, Queen. Oh, she is going to go to the middle, and the Expo died while she was attacking. That was perfect. Let's drop another Rage to speed up DPS since we're running out of time. Hopefully the Queen takes the jump spell. Nope, she turned around. Dang it. Okay, well, that's all right. Let's pop the Queen's ability early, and maybe she'll grab the Dark Elixir drill. Nice, she's going to grab that drill. We'll get half the Dark Elixir available to us, and then that's going to be the Raid. Oh, man, guys, we missed out on the Dark Elixir for the most part, but look at the Golden Elixir, guys. With the loot bonus, over half a million Golden Elixir and over a thousand Dark Elixir. Again, every single drop of Dark Elixir is profit aside from whatever that poison spell cost. So, not too bad, guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We got a star bonus. The We don't need that extra jump since we saved it. Let's get this next boss a special going. We got six minutes to go. So, that will definitely, definitely be our last two. This, this will be our last two boss and special queen walk armies and then we'll check out the Twitter poll to see what army we're going to use for the second boost um, let's see we got about 15 seconds for the king we've got about a minute and 15 seconds for the army so yeah everything is looking solid guys I put my request out so we'll see if the, uh, the my clan mates decide to bless me with more troops Klaus, where did you get the Klaus? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, KB. I don't understand your name. I don't understand your uh, what you said there. All right, Klaus. I love you. You're the best. Ray Vernon, what's going on, man? I love you too. Thanks for being here once again. Ray Vernon, probably the most consistent Twitch... Uh, not Twitch. I was doing some research on Twitch earlier. Probably the most consistent stream viewer in the entire, in the entire family. And I'm just saying that because I've got numbers. I can see who has the most watch time. Pizza hype? Oh, Al Bomber. Al Bomber with the pizza hype. I love me some pizza. Man, should I upgrade Hog Rider? Yes, no matter what town hall level you are, Hog Rider is an awesome troop. Would you consider a total loot calculator? Wait, wait, wait. That's a good idea. Blake plays with another $2 donation, and he says that Loons won. The, 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 it's not over yet, my friend. It is not over yet. Uh, it's just me, Matt says, would you consider a total loot calculator on your stream so that we can see how much loot you gather in total? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I could probably try to put that together for the next stream. Not a bad idea. All right, our army is ready. Let's go out and grab another base. And by the way, some more loot hype. I mean, not loot hype, more donation hype for Blake. Thank you, Blake, for your, your constant donations, for your constant support on the channel. You're an absolute stud. Absolute stud, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we are searching for another base. We've got no clan castle troops, so again, we need to be careful which base we choose to attack. That was so cool earlier. Wasn't it so cool whenever that, uh, that X-Bow stopped? You know, like it ran out of ammo in the middle of the attack. That was amazing. That was super cool. Should I upgrade my King to 9 or Hogs to 3? I would say Hogs to 3. Just because King to 9 is not that big of an upgrade. King to 10 would be though. I would say probably King to 10 over Hogs to 3, but Hogs to 3 for sure. Should I upgrade Hogs or Minions? I would still say Hogs for sure. How do you donate? Um, Yeah, just type exclamation point donate in the chat. Thank you, Kyle, for answering that question. All right, guys, so let's try to find us another base. I'm looking forward to finding... I want to find a monster dead base. Those are so much fun to attack. Like, this is a dead base, but not a lot of loot. We can do better than that. How often do you upload streams? I upload... Actually, yeah, now I'm going to be streaming at seven... No, five days a week, Monday through Friday, always at noon Central Standard Time. That is at uh, six o'clock in the evening. 
in the UK just to get a, a berry for the time zones. Now, guys, look at this dead base. We got a Town Hall 9 with 380,000 Golden Elixir. Let's attack this base here. And uh, let's see here. Let's keep the Queen away. Let's keep the Queen away from these inset air defenses because she can't hit those, but she can hit these. So let's do this. Let's send the Queen in right there. One, two, three, four, five. Let's funnel this bottom side real strong. And what I want the Queen to do is I want the Queen to take out uh, this uh, this air defense here and then work her way north. So that's why I'm funneling everything out very nicely there. Uh, archers, get that golden that gold storage. Get it, get it, get it. Get it? Nice. <laughs> the giants are working through that wall. That's crazy. That's why level 8 walls aren't that great. That's why I always recommend upgrade walls because, you know, you don't want you don't want giants beating through your walls. That's not a, that's never a good thing. All right, so the queen's working on the elixir stores. Now she should turn back and grab that air defense. And then she'll keep walking to the left because there's a lot of buildings up there that's going to draw her in. Perfect. Let's make sure. Yes. All right, so the queen's doing her thing there. Let's snipe some more of this loot. We'll do, uh, we'll do just like that. I've got a king that can also be used for, uh, for the distracting while the archers steal the loot. So very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on. How's the queen doing? Queen is doing just fine. We got two two-point defenses and lots of buildings on the outside that's going to drag her around, so that's perfect. Uh, lots of gold on the bottom of this base. I don't want to miss out on the gold. There's a lot of elixir on the bottom left as well. Oh, and I missed... <laughs> Dang it, I didn't mean to put my king down. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put down our archers to take out the gold mines. And if we can actually funnel the king in toward, the, uh, in toward this side of the base here, it would be ideal... Just because, let me see. It would be ideal because of that Dark Elixir drill. Enemy Queen's following our King around. Let's poison that Queen. Oh man, that's not going to work. Dang it. Alright, so we're going to miss that on that Dark Elixir drill. 900 Dark Elixir has been lost, but you know what? That's okay. This attack is definitely not going to get everything in a base. Let's, um, let's, okay. The Queen's going to grab that gold mine. And then that should be it. I mean, there's nothing else really worth grabbing in this base. Pop the Queen's ability. We're going to take out that air defense really nice. Take out that um, that cannon. And then we'll grab that gold mine. And then we'll go ahead and cut out. There's no sense in hanging around. No sense in waiting any longer. Let's see what the loot is that we grab. 350,000 gold each. Uh, 300, wow. Okay, okay. Let's add these up here. Uh, almost 400,000 gold. More than 400,000 elixir. And about 600 dark elixir. I mean, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. By the way, guys, just a reminder, go follow me on Twitter and answer the poll to have a say in what army composition we're about to use next, okay? Good idea. Now, the uh, did we not use any spells? Nice. We didn't use any spells. Okay, so what army are we going to use next, guys? H how much time's left on that poll? Because I do need to, to uh, next uh, start the next one. The poll has ended, guys. We only had 54 votes. There's like a thousand of y'all watching. That's a shame on y'all. <laughs> All right, so the next army, guys, by a 2% spread. We had Lunian with a 41%. Blake plays with a $2 donation. He wants me to check out his base. I'm not doing any base reviews today, man. Um, Lunian, 41%. And Gigabarch had a 39%. So it looks like Lunian is the winner of this poll. If you don't like the winner, don't like the army composition we're going to be using, you should have went and voted. All right, so Lunian is set up and ready. We've got our spells a going. And actually, I'm going to adjust my Lunian just a little bit. I normally have two haste, but I'm actually going to bring, or actually, I usually have six haste. I'm only going to bring four and bring an extra rage spell. And that's only because rage spells are discounted today. So there we go. We are good and set. Let's start our second boost of the day, guys. Let's get some second boost hype in. Oh, and donation hype for Blake if I didn't say it. Now let's get this thing going, guys. Let's boost again. Bam. And let's do this one as well. Let's get our king and our queen. And James Bolton has come in the clutch with a $15 donation, taking the MVP role. And I will read his uh, message in just a moment. Let's update our MVP here. James Bolton, shout out to James Bolton. Let's get some donation hype in the chat for that. And uh, there we go. James Bolton is now the MVP. What did you say, man? You've helped me a lot on my journey through Clash. Hope this helps and keep up the great work. James, every single drop helps. A dollar, $15. Like we had last night, $200. Every single thing helps. Thank you so much, guys. Thank y'all so much. Hound or loons? 
plus poison. There we go. That's my new request. And we've got one more queen walk to go before it is all said and done, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm amazed. So we only had a 2% spread between Lunian and... So let me read it for you guys. 41% for Lunian, 39% for Gigabarch, 13% for Queen Walk, and 7% for Barch. So Barch had the lowest votes. That is crazy. Uh, and Lunian actually won... Oh, wow. Gigabarch only had 31% of the vote. Did it update? I must have... Uh, that's weird. Okay, never mind. 41% for Lunian, 31% for Gigabarch, 18% for Queen Walk, and 10% for Barch. Very nice. All right, so Lunian is next for the second half of this um, of the stream. It's going to be good, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Now, guys, we've got... Oh, man, did I not... I did boost. Okay, it's just taking a long time. we got two minutes to go before our Queen Walk is ready. Let's check out what we got going on in the chat and have a little bit of water. Water is life, ladies and gentlemen. Do you for, do you accept? It's just me, Matt. He says, it's an interesting question again. Do you accept British sterling as a form of donation currency? Don't have no dollars in the UK. Yeah. Um, everything, like every single donation thing automatically converts the, the currency. So you, it, it's an international thing. I really appreciate you even considering it. Klaus, should I engineer my 10, my 8 to 10 after I max my 8? No. Engineering is bad. I don't like engineering. I'm trying so bad, so hard. Oh, Snow, what's going on, Snow? Hey, man, it's good to see you. Snow is a co-leader of my clan, or was. I'm not sure if he still is, actually. But um, special shout-out to Snow. He's been super helpful in the past with bases and just with everything. So, Snow, thank you, man. I really appreciate you being here. Everyone give love to Snow in the chat. His name is Les Snow. He's got the little uh, wrench next to him. Should I take my king or my queen to 35 first? Elijah, what's going on, Elijah? I think the queen to 35. That's my recommendation. Klaus, what do you do for work? I am a martial arts instructor. I teach self-defense taekwondo. What's your favorite basketball team? Seth King, what's going on, my man? You, you, you have a name that makes me think you're a basketball fan. Um, Seth, my favorite sports team, basketball NBA team, is the San Antonio Spurs. I went to school in San Antonio and uh, absolutely love that team. I went to many games, many games. Klaus, great stream once again, man. Keep it up. Braden Williams, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the encouragement. I absolutely love it. I appreciate all the positivity that I can get in the chat uh, because you guys are what makes it all worth it. Absolutely. All right, guys, going in for our very last Queen Walk attack. Let's find a monster, and here it is. Wow, half a million gold, 430,000 elixir, 4,800 dark elixir. We need to ever drop this dark elixir. Where is it at? Uh, gold mine here, gold mine there, and storage in the middle. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to attack this base. We're going to attack the queen first. There we go. And then now let's funnel out the right-hand side. We're going to funnel out the right-hand side. We're going to try to force the queen to go to the left because all the dark elixir is to the left. And then once she gets to the left, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to barrel her into the base, inside the middle. That's the plan. So she grabs that dark elixir. Blake plays, says, oh, Blake with a donation. Let's get some hype in the chat for Blake. He says, what is your favorite football team? American. Um, is that what you said, American? For some reason, I don't have a little logo for you. My favorite football team is the Dallas Cowboys. I have to admit, guys, I've always been a Cowboys fan. I'm a Texas boy, so I can't help myself. All right, guys. So what do you think, guys? We're gonna we're gonna grab this wizard tower. I think she's gonna come around to where this elixir collector next. Nice. Okay. So let's do this next. Let's put down our giants. We're gonna take out this uh, archer tower there, and then we need to break the queen into the base. Wall breakers doing all kinds of work right now, guys. Come on. Nice. All right. What well, what happened? Why didn't the uh, why didn't the arch tower drop? Wow, dude. Those archer towers are surviving. Absolute survivors. Let's drop our rage. Let's put down our next giant. Let's funnel out all this. Let's save a few archers for the um, 
save a few archers for this loot out here, but we're here for the Dark Elixir, guys, and I think this queen is going to go for it. We need another rage spell to keep the, the, uh, the, the DPS going so that we don't miss out on this jump spell. There we go, guys. The queen has jumped in. She's grabbing the Dark Elixir out of the storage. This is absolutely perfect, guys. We got all the Dark Elixir. I would love for her to grab the Town Hall, too. That would be awesome. I've got another jump spell. It's worth it. If we grab the Town Hall, then we'll get every drop of the Dark Elixir out of this base. Queen looks like she's... De oh, wow. I was about to say, she looks like she's interested in that, that, that uh, Tesla, but no big deal. All right, so let's get this king up. Let's do this. And... Um what else? Can we can we actually snipe some of these drills and what these collectors and mines? That'd be awesome. I think so. We need to make sure that the king gets ahead. So let's get the king ahead. Pop his ability. Keep going, ladies and gentlemen. Keep going. Let's pop the king, or let's uh, put the poison spell down on the enemy king. Let's put down some archers. There we go. Very nice. And I think the king's about to bust it. Yeah, the king busted it. But is the king going to drop? The enemy king going to drop? So if he does, then we have a pretty free reign to the... Oh, man. No! Come on! Oh, man. All right, well, we missed out on a little bit of gold. A little bit of elixir. But that's all right. Let's pop the king's, the queen's ability. Let her go as far as she can. And then close out. All right, guys. So the queen did not die. And we got over five thousand dark elixir in that raid the golden elixir was solid too four hundred thousand golden elixir roughly but five thousand dark elixir was beautiful guys absolutely gorgeous very nice all right so lunian is training up next i have um i've actually got a jump spell i don't need i should have just went ahead and used it but i didn't i don't need to so we'll get the lunian going now guys officially starting our second boost and how long is this going to take a few minutes not too bad we've already got our request out and like our client castle request. So just a little bit of a waiting game. We got tons of gold already, guys. I think we had a very successful uh, attack so far. I mean, let's let's see. Let's see. We didn't lose. Oh, yeah, we did lose that attack. I'm trying to remember. Did yeah, that's a queen walk army. Okay, so let's let's quickly roughly add up how much gold we've gotten today. 590, so that's about 600, that's about a million. 1.2, 1.3, 1.6, 1.8. One, the 2.1, 2.6, uh, about three, 3.3 3 million gold in one boost. That is beautiful. And then the dark elixir is solid as well, guys. I mean, two, three, three and a half, four, five and a half. That's six, uh, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 5, 19 plus 5, 24. So about 24,000 Dark Elixir in one boost? Dang, dude. This Queen Walk army is legit, guys. If anybody out there has, uh, you know, is unsure about that Queen Walk army, I recommend you try it out because that, that just did so much good for us. Now we're trying our beloved Lunian attack. It's a strictly air attack now, so we'll see how this goes. Again, I've got my request out. We've got just a few more minions to go before the army's done. Actually, we got... 30, wait, 40, what, one, one minute, we got one minute to go, and our king is done, our request is out, so now it's just a waiting game, guys, nice, I love it. Now, for some reason, guys, my chat just froze, I mean, I could try to read that chat, oh, there we go, okay, legit Boston special, that's right, Sonny, that is right, good job, Klaus, buddy, keep it going, nice loot, thank you, Varun, Varun, like it, like it, love it. Do you ever lava loon? Clashing with Sam. I do. I do lava loon, but it's only for war. You don't really need lava hounds for farming. It's just more dark elixir. I'd rather not do that. I do. Okay, so I take that back. I do lava loon. I do quad la loon as a town hall 10 for farming. Uh, four lava hounds and then balloons and a few minions. That's all. That's really all you need. Should I max witches or hogs? Oh, that's a great question. I would say probably hogs just because it's more viable on more different base designs. So I would say hogs, but, but witches are a close second. Oh no, I just misclicked. All right, I just dropped 19 trophies on Daniel. Dang it. <laughs> I was trying to read the chat and then I misclicked. That's a bummer, man. That's a huge bummer. All right, well, we got one less balloon. Unless, uh, wait, wait, do we? I'm not sure. Let's see. No, we got we got enough balloons. Okay, we just need to remember that that needs to be. We need to add another balloon to our next wreck, or our next army composition. 
Brandon Warren coming in the clutch, becoming the new MVP of the day, guys, with a $20 donation through Super Chat. He didn't even leave a message. He's just like, here, take it. Do something with it. So thank you. Thank you, Brandon, so much for the donation. Every dollar going towards now a new... Um, a new CPU for my computer so I can continue to bring out higher quality stuff. And let's get some donation hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this, guys. We've got 500,000 gold with not a lot of elixir. Or not a lot of dark elixir, though. But the elixir's great. Okay, let's attack this base. I like this base for a first Lunian base. And we have sweepers from both directions. So let's see. Can we maybe... I don't know. Where's the dark elixir at? On the left and the right? All right, guys, here we go. Lunin going in the backside of the sweeper directly at the enemy queen. We'll hold on to a few minions, but let's uh, let's get these hasted in. Let's poison over the enemy queen. Let's also rage over the enemy queen. Haste over that group there. Haste over this group here. We got one more rage. I forgot that we don't have two, uh, two haste spells. We got one more rage. So, what would be the best way to use this, guys? I think clearing up the area with the Dark Elixir would probably be the better bet. So, we have got, and all the loot's actually on this right-hand side as well. So, we got all the Rage spells down. Um, we're clearing up the base. We might actually still 3-star, guys, even though I got a little spell happy. We might still 3-star, guys, even if the balloons don't completely succeed. I've got my heroes still. So, this is solid, guys. This is amazing. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> wow. All right, let's get the king down. Let's get the queen down as well. I think that this is going to be GG for the base. The balloons didn't quite make it, but the king and the queen are going to solidify this three-star. This is why I love Lunian. This is why I've been using Lunian on a regular basis um, whenever I'm farming this town on 9. I tried something new for fun. Level 15 queen walk was fun. We learned how to make it work, but... You can't argue with that three-star. Solid three-star, messed up, forgot I had uh, a rage instead of two extra hastes, and still locked down on the three-star. So, yeah, man, that was awesome. The only problem with Lunian is that it seems to take longer to either... It takes... You can hit harder bases, so you don't have as much search time, which means we sit here waiting on the army longer. Yeah, that's, that's it. And we need this extra balloon to... There we go. Okay. So we're good to go, guys. We've got a couple minutes to go before our next Lunian army. Also, guys, we're only 2 million, less than 2 million away from maxing our gold storage before we're going to have to spend some gold. And at this rate, that will be before the boost is over. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to expect. If we go into our progress base, we have done today at the beginning of the stream, which um, which is exciting, is we got our last elixir upgrade done. This dark elixir drill going to max. Now the only elixir that needs to be upgraded, or anything in the 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 anything elixir based that needs to be upgraded, is going to be in the laboratory. So we got a lot of room, a lot of work to do in the laboratory, and then obviously we can spend elixir on the walls as well. So. All is well, guys. By the way, was it? Yes, it was my Town 9 base. Somebody, I think it was somebody in the con, the uh, the comment section that said something like, "Klaus, you're killing my o my OCD right now because one of your t one of your Archer towers is not up to par." And that is absolutely true, guys. Level ten Archer towers. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! That was really trippy. Uh, I, I felt like the whole screen was moving the other direction. We got Archer towers level ten, and then this last one is level nine. So I get what you're saying. A two million gold upgrade that we might get to do today. This Wizard Tower is a little cheaper though, and it needs to go to level six before it is caught up to the rest of the the Wizard Towers. So, oh yeah, let's get rid of this mushroom. Here is the uh, not the finale, but the climax of today's stream, guys. We're gonna remove some mushrooms. Mushroom hype. Three, two, one. Bam. Nice. And we got uh, we got a gem. Nice. That covers a little bit of our cost. 100 gems spent today, making sure we keep everything boosted, and we have recovered 1% of our cost from a mushroom. Very nice. All right, so what is the plan for today, guys? The gold... Oh, thank you, Ant Dayuto. I've always struggled with that name, but Ant has donated a Lava Hound in my clan castle, so that is amazing. That is perfect. Now we have a Laloon. Perfect. Lalunian. And so what is the idea and the plan for today? Well, definitely going to be upgrading an air defense because we we have, I, I like to do one air defense at a time. So uh, we need to do another air defense for sure. And uh, let's see, pro probably pour the rest of our gold into our air bombs because those air bombs are so clutch against balloons. And um, if we end up with dark elixir, let's see, we need 
80,000 to upgrade the queen, but we only need 55,000 for the king. So we could potentially end up with enough Dark Elixir to upgrade the king. That'd be awesome to go to level 13 today. So all the progress being made today. 45 seconds to go, uh, guys, before our army is ready. Then we can go back out and wreck some faces. What should I build first for my Tunnel 9? Arbor, what's going on, Arbor? I have a Tunnel 9 upgrade guide in my guides playlist. I recommend you uh, go check that out. And for anybody that's Town Hall, I think it's I think I did Town Hall 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. I've done all those Tunnel levels. So if you're wondering what to upgrade on your base, that's what I recommend you go do. Check out those upgrade guide playlists. Very informative, very helpful. And I'm in the middle of upgrading them as well. So, yeah. Good things, good times, good stuff. Seven seconds to go, guys. I'm excited. That Lava Hound makes me excited. I don't know about you guys. Is anybody else excited out there? I'm excited because Lava Hounds in the Clan Castle makes these attacks so much more fun. More stable, if you know what I mean. Brandon Warren, our current MVP, has donated five more dollars. Oh, man. What did he say? He says, oh, sorry for not leaving a message. I always love your videos. My debit card, for some reason, didn't work last time, so I'm happy. So I'm happy I can donate. Keep it up. Let's get some donation hype in the chat for Brandon Warren. Give that guy some love. Thank you, man, for everything, everything you're doing today. For all the donators. Um, absolutely incredible, guys. Thank y'all. And, okay, so I, I see what you're saying, Bram. The green bar is not updating, and that's above my head. It only updates for certain donations and not others. I have to go in and manually update the bar every stream. Sometimes I forget. I do. I'm going to admit, I'm a human and I forget stuff sometimes. All right, guys. So we are looking for that perfect Lunian base. That's what we're looking for right now. That perfect Lunian base. Tons of Dark Elixir. And we do have to be a little bit more picky on the bases we hit as far as Dark Elixir is concerned. Because Dark Elixir um, is not free whenever you're using Lunian. But... It's not too bad, guys. I think that we might be a little bit too high in the trophies. Again, I mentioned that earlier, but then I kept finding good bases and forgot. But I might check here in a minute and see what trophy count we're at. I thought the donation was for a laptop. The bar says it's for a new CPU. What's going on, uh, Kyle? I guess you didn't get... Uh, uh, sorry. I guess you didn't catch last night's stream. The laptop bar got completely full from some very generous donations. So... I had to update it to something else that I need, and that is the CPU, which is considerably cheaper. All right, guys, so this is a dead Town Hall 9. The Expos are uncollected, and it is time to wreck its face. So let's go at this base from the bottom left-hand side behind that sweeper. We'll put the hound, the uh, balloons in, then the hounds, and then the minions. And then let's haste both groups through the middle. Let's poison the enemy queen. Let's rage into the middle there because of that uh, that hound doing some work. Let's also haste through. I like to keep everything moving as quickly as possible. Let's haste this group. And let's rage the last group in the middle there. Where is it going to end up going? It wants to go this direction. Let's rage. Those two groups converging together under the rage spell. Absolutely dominant, guys. Definitely going to be... Oh, please take out that air defense. Dang it. Okay. So, I think we've got enough balloons to take this three-star again, guys, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Let's put the king down, the queen down, to help out with these defenses on the end if we need to. All the point defenses are down. Nice. This is definitely going to be the three-star, guys. Let's put down um, let's put down our minions on that far side there. And, oh, yeah, this is certainly going to be the three-star. Boom! Yeah! Three-star hype in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Three-star hype in the chat. And loot hype, because I think that was a pretty solid grab. Let's pop her... Oh, I didn't even get my queen's ability off before the attack was over. Nice. All right. So let me do some math. 450,000 gold altogether. 400 and... Oh, man. I just... 430,000 elixir and 3,400 dark elixir. Beautiful loot grab, guys. Absolutely gorgeous loot grab. Three-star hype in the chat. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so I've got my next Lunian started up. we got three minutes before it is done. My request has to wait three minutes as well, so I'm not sure if we'll have Clan Castle for this next attack, but it is going to be legit. And by the way, guys, um, I saw like an hour ago, somebody mentioned something about telling me to gem the army. And while I might have enough gems for that, I don't spend my gems on anything but boosts. I don't gem my, my armies. 
And sometimes I'll do like the, uh, you know, the two hour guard or whatever. But I don't know. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good to gem stuff. I mean, you if you do it, that's great. But I mean, I'm just saying a lot of people can't. And as a YouTuber, as an entertainer, as a, a role model for the game, I'd rather not, um, I'd rather not leave people behind like that. Klaus, witches or Valkyries? Witches, Alexander. Witches. Keep up the good work. Just subbed. Oscar, thank you so much for the sub, guys. And that reminds me that if anybody else out there is new and um, just now tuning in to the channel, which uh, happens quite a bit during the streams, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Klaus family. We're a daily Clash of Clans YouTube channel. And we have a lot of fun on this channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Show it some love. Show that subscribe button some love. <laughs> Turn off sounds. No, just turn your volume down a little bit, man. I like having the background sound. I bet Klaus will not see this. Oh, I did see it. Conservative or liberal? Colin, come on. This is a game, not politics. Hey, Klaus. Oh, man, I want to read that one. Hey, Klaus, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Your videos and streams are amazing. Keep up the good work, buddy. Kyle Adams. What's going on, Kyle? Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. Been watching a couple streams now. I'll sub. You've been watching and not subbing? That's okay. Man, I really appreciate your sub. Every single sub is absolutely just so welcome. Thank you so much. Why is it sticking so much? I don't know. Maybe... I don't know why it's sticking. The internet connection is actually pretty solid right now. So I don't know. Valks or golems? Uh, golems first. Valkyrie second. Do you play Clash Royale? Um, oh, Quickster0420, the $20 Super Chat donation. Thank you, Quickster, for that. Every dollar going toward a new laptop. Not no loot. I'm so used to saying that. Every every donation going toward a new CPU for my computer uh, so that we can bring even higher quality content. But Quickster says, great work on the channel. Love the new streams and content you put out. Keep up the good work. You're worth every penny and more and deserve everything you've achieved. Quickster, thank you so much. That is that is so blessing. Thank you so much. Y'all are such a blessing for me. And um, unfortunately, Brandon Warren donated 20 before you, so he's he retains the MVP status. Uh, but I greatly appreciate it, guys. Donation hype in the chat. The uh, muddy meter automatically updates, or I have to do it after the stream, unfortunately. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go find us another base. We have another Lunian. We have no clan castle troops, unfortunately, but that is just... Gonna have to be okay. This is gonna have to be all right. We'll do it. We'll be fine. We will make it work. Yeah, I just saw it stick. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I need to restart my computer. I don't know. Technical stuff. I really get sick of technical stuff. What is the best farming strategy for Town Online? Go check out my... Well, this is the Town Online Let's Play, but also go check out my farming playlist. I farmed and maxed my heroes as a tunnel 9 and have already maxed out my heroes at tunnel 10. All of those videos are a part of the farming playlist. Definitely something I recommend. Going back to the older videos and seeing how I was farming. I don't remember how I farmed my tunnel 9 heroes actually from my main account. It's been a long time. But obviously I'm farming my tunnel 9 heroes here with Lunian and with the Queen Walk Boston special. So, yeah. How do queen walk, uh, a queen walk with level 20 queen? Well, we just did a level, um, wow, look at this base. Single targeting infernos. You know what? I'm going to YOLO this base, guys. I'm going to attack this base. I'm going to go directly at one side and then the other. So let's see. Can we, if we can take out that, can you know what? No, I'm just going to go for it. All right, YOLO. We're going to we're gonna YOLO this base, guys. Tons of loot. We need some loot hype in the chat right now because this is monstrous, guys. Absolutely monstrous. Um, let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Best way to spin this loot. Let's drop a rage. Let's also poison over that. Let's drop a haste over that big group up there. Let's also drop, also drop a haste up there. Very nice. We need everything to get in that rage spell. Awesome. Stuff's going down, but not so good. Come on, man. Drop a drop a second rage. We need this. We need this balloon. I think that sweeper ruined us, guys. I didn't pay attention to the sweeper. 
All right, so our first non-three star with Looney and I attacked a town all 10 with Infernos and it did not go according to plan. Good thing is though, is that we have a lot of air, we have no air targeting defenses on this far side. Oh man, the expo, dang it. Okay, well the uh, minute's gonna snipe that elixir, we'll get that elixir over there. Can we grab, we're gonna grab this dark elixir with our king and our queen. And, oh wait, 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 there's probably more dark elixir in that storage there. Let's deploy our king. Ah, oh, he's gonna go the wrong direction, dang it. Ah, uh, the king, why can't you just read my mind and go where I tell you to? Like, why do you have to be difficult? That's disappointing. Okay, well, let's use our queen to grab this dark elixir. There's no chance we're gonna grab that storage now. That's gonna, that's gonna, that's a huge bummer. King is probably gonna go for the storage now because for some reason he thought it'd be easier. Actually, it will be easier. <laughs> it will be easier for the king to get that storage instead of going for the dark elixir storage. We'll pop the king's ability, get him well enough ahead. Queen is taking some damage right now. We'll pop her ability as well. She'll go in, she'll take out this cannon, then she'll get him more of the elixir. We're gonna cut out as soon as she starts taking a bunch of damage. There we go. Okay, so kind of a failed attack, but we still got over 350,000 gold. That is awesome. Over 250,000 elixir and almost 2,000 dark elixir. Not too bad. I could have done better, obviously, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. I think that was actually pretty solid. Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty good. I enjoyed that. Okay, so we did not use a haste, so we don't need it. We can go in and train our next Lunian. King will be done in a minute and a half. Our spells are done in a couple seconds. And then our Lunian will be done in just under two minutes. So, not too bad, guys. We get our request out as well. So, we are completely prepared and ready for our next in just a couple of minutes. And we're halfway through the, yeah, we're halfway through the second boost of this stream, having a fun time, getting tons of loot. We are currently at 6.9 million gold out of our grand total, like our max storage capacity of 8 million, so we're almost maxed out with gold. We do need 55,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade the king, so let's hope that we get to that. And um, we're about, oh, just over halfway full with Elixir. Today's been a very, very productive day. Um... It's good, guys. I'm really enjoying this. Class, I love your content. Thank you, Noick. Really appreciate it. What do I upgrade first in my lab? It's Tunnel 7. Joey, go check out my Tunnel 7 upgrade guide. I have a lab guide for Tunnel 7 as well. My hogs are level 5. Nice, Will. Keep up the good work, buddy. You didn't answer my question. What kind of base to look for with level 20 queen walk? I don't remember that question. I didn't see it if you posted it. Um, Same type of bases, really. I mean, I would say it stays pretty consistent between level 15 and 20. Hecker or dragon? Dragon, Salaba. Salaba, definitely. Are you married? Yes, I am married. To the most wonderful, beautiful woman in the world. Earthquake spell or hay spell? Hay spell, for sure. Upgrade first. Hogs or Valkyries? Hogs, absolutely. Hogs or loons? Hogs. How long have you been playing Clash of Clans? Over two years now. Class, I've watched six hours. Oh, wait, never mind. Class, did I miss out on much? I just tuned in. Quantum, what's going on, my man? Um, no, actually you didn't. We did a queen walk boost with the level 15 queen for the Boston special. And then I posted on my Twitter what, like a poll for seeing what army I should use for my second boost. And everyone chose Lunian. So here we are. We're on Lunian. I think it was like 41% out of four choices. 31% was second place. And then like 18 and 11. So it was a pretty good majority of people that wanted Lunian. Not that 41% is majority, but it's the highest chosen out of the four choices. Um, so again, guys, recommend that if you are going to be following, watching the, the the streams, or just you know being involved in the channel in any way, I recommend you follow me on Twitter because that's there's a lot of uh, a lot that goes on on Twitter. Also, join my Discord server. There's a link in the down there's a link down below in the video description for you to join that. And uh, obviously, subscribe, turn on notifications as well. Hey guys, we have ourselves a wonderful base, a, a wonderful base. We got a, we have an exterior queen, so we'll snipe that with our heroes. And the X bows are set on ground, so that is awesome, guys. We will uh, we'll go in this base at the sweeper blind here and try to help our here our uh, balloons go all the way around to the left. So let's let's actually snipe this queen first before we do anything else. Let's drop a poison, drop the king. We're gonna snipe the queen with our king. 
pop the special ability, and then let's send in our balloons. The balloons are down. Let's send in some minions as well. Let's haste this group up here and haste this group up here. We've got two rage spells right now, which is unusual, but it's uh, it's going to work. We got a second haste. We got one more haste. Keep in mind how many haste spells we have, because I will lose track. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Let's drop another rage. Actually, wait. Yeah, we're doing really well so far. I like it. I really do like it. And one more. Do we have a... Wow, there's not a lot of air targeting defenses up here. Let's drop this rage up here. Yeah, there's a Tesla right there. That kind of turned the tides a little bit. Can we get this air defense down? That would really help. <laughs> oh, man. Bummer. Okay. So, I think with our queen, we'll be able to, uh, to be able to snipe the Dark Elixir. Also, minion. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. Come on. Nice. All right. So, uh... Actually, wait, if this minion could grab this Dark Elixir, if these minions could grab all this Dark Elixir, then we'll be set. And we could use our queen to grab that Dark Elixir storage. Man, that's a hard decision. Should I go for the town hall or the store or the like the like the storage and the town hall in the middle or go for the Dark Elixir drill? I think for the sake of fun, we should go for the Dark Elixir storage. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go for the Dark Elixir storage. We're gonna go for that uh Drill with all of these minions over here. Come on. Yes! Awesome. That was perfect. Alright, so the queen going for the town hall. Going for the dark elixir storage. Let's hope that we can get all of it. Yes, perfect. She's gonna go through she went through that wall and then she's gonna go through this little corridor here and she's gonna go directly for this dark elixir storage. There's really nothing that could target her. So it's gonna be free reign, guys. That is why holding on to your heroes until the end of the attack is helpful when you're farming. This worked out perfect, guys. Wow, so many skeletons. I'm going to poison those skeletons down right now. That could have been really bad. All right, we got that Dark Elixir storage. There's 600 sitting in this town hall besides maybe a little bit in the clan castle. Bam! Nice, guys. All right, let's close out before the queen takes any damage. 69%. That's what's up. 3,800 Dark Elixir. Uh, over 400,000 Elixir. And a little bit of gold. Not too bad. Not too shabby, guys. Let's get some loot hype in the chat for all that Dark Elixir. We need all that Dark Elixir to put that king down. So, that was perfect, guys. Just perfect. Got about a minute before the king is done. Three minutes before the troops are done. Actually, just, uh, just over two minutes. So, not too bad. The wait will not be too bad. And we have been promoted to Crystal League 1. I guess I'll keep going until loot gets really dry. And then I'll probably drop back down. I, I did that not very long ago. I was at like... I don't even know where I was at, but I dropped uh, trophies really, really hard. And then loot all of a sudden got a lot better. So being a 10 online trying to farm, you probably don't want to get into Master League. It just doesn't seem like the best place to be. What should I use to farm Dark Elixir or Tunnel 8? My Tunnel 8 Let's Play will answer that question very well. Better than I can right now. Go check out my Tunnel 8 Let's Play. I mean, Tunnel 7 is uh, Loonian a good attack? I, I don't know, honestly. I, I don't think I ever lose uh, used Loonian as a Tunnel 7. Dragons are great, though. Why do you like Hogs? Because Hogs are the best attack, or the best troop for 3-star at Tunnel 8 and Tunnel 9. And actually, I'm seeing a lot of Hogs at Tunnel 10, too. So Hog Riders are on the way up. Hog Riders are the best attack strategy, again, for Tunnel 7, 8, and 9, getting there for 10, and, well, Tunnel 7 is probably still Dragons, actually. What are they, what are Klaus Coins and what are they for? Um, so a Klaus Coin is added to your account for every minute you watch a live stream. Right now, you can't do anything for with them, just kind of treat it as a savings account, but here in the, 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 the near future, you're going to be able to buy stuff with the Klaus Coins. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to buy, like, gift cards for real cheap or something like that, but, you know, free stuff, like uh, little shoutouts and streams and stuff like that. It's going to be fun, but there will be options to get, like, the t-shirt the from my website. Go check out my website if you have not done that already. Um, you know, pre-order the t-shirt. Or what else? I forgot what else I was going to do. Oh, like gift cards. Like we'll, we'll make gift cards able to be bought from the website. But of course, it won't be cheap as far as Klaus Coins is concerned. Because I am... It's basically a free out of nowhere currency, right? So um, yeah, we'll, don't worry guys. It will go up pretty soon. All right.
right, guys, we have our Lunian. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. We've got ourselves a full Lunian army. We've got about 20 minutes left in the boost, roughly. So let's see how it's going to go. Dead Tunnel 9, not a lot Not a lot of Dark Elixir. We need, do definitely need to get at least 3,000 while using Lunian. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. And here's another one. Oh, wow. Look at all that Golden Elixir, guys. I think with 9,000 Dark Elixir remaining... We have to, oh, I've got to pass this base up, guys. We've got to get at least 3,000 Dark Elixir per attack. Otherwise, there's no way that we're going to reach that 55,000 to upgrade our king to level 13. So I have to be extremely picky from now on. Make sure that we get plenty of Dark Elixir per attack. Otherwise, we're not going to make it. Dang, man, passing up so much loot right now. But it's all about the Dark Elixir. You guys know, I mean, as a Town Hall 9, Dark Elixir is your highest priority. That's pretty good, but it would poop on us. These Inferno Towers and Expos would poop on us, even though the Expos are set on ground. How do you get coins? I just answered that, guys. For every minute you watch the stream, you get a Klaus coin. So for every 10 minutes of watch time you get in a stream, you get 10 Klaus coins, and so on and so forth. Oh, man, another amazing base. Ugh. Oh, I gotta skip that. I've got to get more Dark Elixir. There we go. 3,000 Dark... Oh, man. Air targeting Expos. That is rough, guys. That is going to be rough. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. Level 23 Queen, too. That, that base is strong. I'm not going to try. It would have been awesome to get that base and that loot, but it's not going to... It's not going to be good. Skip the 6 KD base. No, I didn't. Should I king walk? I wonder if it's a good tactic for Town Hall 8. Um, no, I don't recommend it. Whoa, guys. Whoa. 700,000 elixir, guys. That is crazy. 684,000 gold. I mean, yeah, I'm attacking this base. It's only 2,000 dark elixir, but we need some loot hype in the chat. This is gnarly. This is crazy right now. Look at this. Look at this sweeper pointing up like that. So let's see. Let's go at this base. Let's actually snipe the uh, let's snipe the queen first. Let's drop the king, pop or drop a poison spell. Use the king to wipe out the enemy queen. Kill her. Nice. Okay, so let's go at this base from the sweeper blind right here. Awesome. There's another sweeper on the other side, but we're gonna have to. Oh, I put my queen down. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well, it's gonna be okay. Let's haste and let's haste to get these uh, these balloons in real nicely now. Now what? Let's rage this group up here. Haste this group up here. Rage this group up here. Everything's looking good so far, guys. Except for that stinking sweeper. That sweeper's driving me nuts right now. Let's drop another haste. Oh, man. Everything died out all at once. Oh, oh man. All right. Well, I think the air targeting skeleton trap really messed us up that time. But we got minions to help out with the aftermath. The minion should also be able to grab this Dark Elixir out of the storage. It would be nice if we grabbed a 3-star, but I don't think it's going to happen. This Dark Elixir storage in the middle is going to have to be sacrificed as well. Uh, Queen takes out that air defense, so that was really, really good. Let's send in a minion for that Elixir storage. And the Queen has bit the dust. Okay, so we did not quite succeed. I misclicked my Queen, which would have helped a lot. And also, guys, the sweeper on the top kind of trolled us as well. But that's okay, because we still got a lot of loot. Let me put down the rest. I need the Dark Elixir. Let's put down the rest of the minions on this Dark Elixir here. And with that loot bonus, it's going to be a monstrous grab. Plus, look at these minions. They're outside of the range of this uh, wizard tower. So that was perfect. And they're outside of the range of the gold mine. Or for the gold mine, outside of the range of the arch tower over there, too. So that's perfect spot. Very nice. All right. Let's see how much loot we ended up with. Minion's gonna get shot down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are we waiting for? Oh, there's an archer. Nice. I'm not gonna wait for the archer. All right. So over. Wow. Six over six hundred thousand golden elixir and over sixteen hundred and ninety dark elixir. That was beautiful, guys. The loot was monstrous, 
And at that point, at this point, we actually have maxed out our gold storage. I don't want to go back out without uh, uh, without dumping our gold storage. So let's go and spend a little bit of gold in this uh, on this base. And what I'm going to do is actually the cheapest gold store, uh, cheapest gold upgrade in this that Wizard Tower, 1.7 million gold, four day upgrades. Let's go ahead and get this thing going, guys. In three, two, one, bam. Nice. Okay, so the Wizard Tower is done now. We've got three builders to go. Hopefully, we can grab enough Dark Elixir for the king. Otherwise, we'll end up just saving the Dark Elixir and pouring all or using all of our gold on the remaining um, builders. There we go. <laughs> all right, 41 seconds to go before we are ready to go. I've got a clan castle request already out. My uh, clan mates are less, are less, uh, what's the best way to put it? Less willing or maybe less available with air troops as they were the bowlers earlier. Special shout out again to Chase, man. Chase was fueling us with those max bowlers. That was amazing. But all right, so we got about 20 seconds to go. We can go back out and get us some loot. How do you engineer? Shaden, don't worry about it. It's a bad thing to do. Not that it's bad. No, not necessarily morally bad. It just is extremely annoying for all of us that play the game and war fair play, which means we max all of our tr our bases and stuff. Bye, Klaus. Bye, Blake. Thank you so much for everything you've done today. You're amazing. Hey, Klaus. Thank you for the great contact. Your guides are helpful, very helpful, and keep up the good work. Hamza, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. All the positive reinforcement, all the positive comments that I can see in the chat, the better. What is engineering? Don't worry about it. You don't even need to know. I do have videos about it, though, if you want to really learn about it. It's, uh, you can search for it. All right, guys, we've got our Lunian, and it is time to find another amazing base. We've got about seven, 8,000 Dark Elixir that we still need before we can put down the King. So hopefully within the next 20 minutes, whenever our boost is ending, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to get it done. And wow, 472,000 gold, 446,000 elixir. This is an easy base. Man, I need that dark elixir though. That is terrible. When is the new Tunnel 9 guide coming out? Uh, Probably next week sometime. Maybe the week after. It just kind of depends on if I can get Tunnel 10 done this week. Oh my goodness, guys. The search sometimes is so... I, I'm so impatient with the search. But that's kind of one of the tricks to farming is being able to to really, you know, focus. I need 3,000 Dark Elixir, man. 3,000, not 2,562. 3,000. 2,800. That's pretty close. Not enough gold. Elixir's good. Nope. 3,000 stinking Dark Elixir. That's what I need today. Don't worry, guys. All the Dark Elixir that I end up skipping, you can take it. You can have it. You come out, you find it yourself. All right, where are those sweepers at? There's two sweepers up here. That's perfect. Okay, so let's... What do I want to do here? I kind of want to... Man, this is rough. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to deploy my haste spell. I'm going to put down one, two, three, four groups of balloons for the sweepers and hopefully these wizard towers, guys. We want these wizard towers to drop. Come on, split up. Oh, why'd you go that direction? Turn around. Hopefully this wizard tower still drops. Come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. All right, both wizard towers dropped. The wizard towers are very dangerous. So we definitely want to get rid of those as quickly as possible. Balloons are down. Let's put the minions down as well. There we go. Let's get the uh, poison spell. We need a rage spell. We need a haste spell. And we're going to need a second rage spell right there. Haste spell right there. We want to make sure we keep these troops moving, guys. I'm trying to clear up all the space. Oh, wow. Air targeting. Air targeting <laughs> skeleton traps. Just totally trolling us right now. Not good, guys. Not good. Let's haste this last group of balloons. Hopefully, we can get rid of this air defense. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. So. Next step, guys. We want to clear up these outside buildings so that I can send my king in to grab that town hall and that dark elixir storage. Or at least burrow through and take out the wall compartment. I would also really like to be able to grab this dark elixir drill. So, let's see. Can we do both? Can we do both? 
Where is the best place to deploy this king? Probably... Let's wait until the elixir store, elixir collector goes down. Okay, king? Nice. All right, I think, I think he's going to go the right direction. Now the question is, can he grab that dark elixir swords to begin with? He might try to go for, for this cannon, though. I really hope not, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm scared. I'm nervous right now. <laughs> Come on, man. We got, to, we got a minute. We got 70 seconds to make this happen. All right, King. Don't go down. Yes. Yes. He is going exactly where I wanted him to go. We got a clan castle golem, though. So we're going to have to prioritize that uh, Dark Elixir storage. Let's get the King through the wall. Perfect. And let's prioritize. I guess now they're both going to work on that golem. So that's that's terrible. Queen, please. Please, queen. Golem explodes. Taking care of the golemites now. We're going we're gonna to need her special ability here in a moment in the middle of the base because we're, we're going to run out of time. Queen, don't go down now. She might have redirected because she was focused on that golem. Don't go down. Please don't go down. Yes. Dark Elixir Storage, please. Town Hall. Okay, pop the ability. Grab that Town Hall. Archers are going to keep everything busy. Very nice. Queen, you're actually smart for once. Now let's get this. Let's get this Dark Elixir Storage as much as possible. Come on. Come on, Queen. Come on. Oh, uh, not even half. Oh, man. Bummer. Okay, well, that didn't work out quite the way expected. 2,000 Dark Elixir, over 300,000 Elixir, a crappy amount of gold, but you know what? That's going to have to be okay. It's going to have to be all right. Start up the next Looning Army. Request for troops. Some some troops would be wonderful, but I, I can't, like, beg or anything. 13 minutes left in the boost. We've got 2,000 in the treasury, actually. We've got 2,000 loot in the treasury. What does that mean? So we're going to be at... We're, we're technically at 50,900. So that's... 50,900. 4,100. We have two attacks remaining, right? Based on time. Yeah, we probably have two or three attacks remaining. We need 2,000 Dark Elixir per attack. And the cost is 680. So... Man, we are cutting this one very close to upgrade this king today, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I want to upgrade this king today. And I'm nervous. 20 seconds to go. We can go right back out and find another base. This is going to be good. Who is the Klaus bot? Divyanesh, uh, Divyansh, it is my bot. It's a, it's a computer. Carter, Pete Vlogs, am I late? Yeah, we've only been here for about two hours. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do it. Let's go. We got our next Lunian army. Again, guys, we need roughly 3,000 Dark Elixir twice in a row in order to be able to put down the king today. This is clutch because our boost is ending, and I do not want to gem an army at the end of the stream. So let's see, guys. Let's hope we get it. Here's to hoping we get it. Actually, let's sit here and let's hope really hard really hard that we find a base that has roughly 5,000 Dark Elixir. If we found that, and we did earlier, we actually did hit a base with 5,000 Dark Elixir. If we could find a base with 5,000 Dark Elixir, that'll solidify the ability to upgrade the king today. And that would be amazing. Is there a cooldown for typing? Yes, Joshua, it's called slow mode. You, uh, you can only message one time per minute. Um, and that's just because if it wasn't on, there was, there'd be no way to keep up with the chat for me to be able to answer questions and stuff. 5k Dark Elixir hype. That's right. Who said that? I want to know who that was. Brandon Warren. Yep. Yep. That's what's up. Our MVP of the day so far, man. $20 donation. Thank you again, Brandon. All right. Let's get it. Hopefully. Nope. That, that wasn't it. All right. It's going to be the next one. Ready? I think we can do it, guys. There's no Inferno Towers. As long as we really focus and get all of our troops to get focused in there and then get our king and our queen to go through the walls as well. And if we can get our queen on that Dark Elixir storage, we'll be we'll be good. We'll be golden. So, let's see. One, two, three. We'll also take out these. Just kind of focusing, kind of funneling a little bit. All right, let's go. Minion or balloons are down. Minions are down. Poison the enemy queen. Let's haste and haste. Guys, this is going to do it. I, I already know it. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. Let's drop a rage. We have an extra haste. So I guess we should haste this group. Haste this group. 
We got one more rage spell, guys. Where should we use it? I guess on the bigger group, right? Let's drop this rage on this bigger group out here. Nice, guys. Nice. All right. So the next step is, can we get maybe a minion to get that Dark Elixir? Actually, look at this, guys. We've got some lucky Mega Minions grabbing us some dark, some gold out of the gold storage, and then they'll get that Dark Elixir. So that is perfect. What is the best way now to use our heroes? I, I still think that getting our heroes to go into the, uh, the center would be the best. So let's see. Once those exterior, like these buildings out here go down, we'll be good to go. How much is left for that in the health? A lot. Oh, okay. Let's deploy our king here. Oh, man. Yeah, he's going way out. Okay. Oh, and I popped his ability on accident. That's terrible. Let's try this. Yeah, queen's going to go that direction too. Okay, that's fine. That's actually not too bad. Let's put our minions down to help out with the dark elixir in the town hall. King is going to go through here. We're going to wipe out the enemy king, and then we're going to get this elixir storage as well. So that's not too bad. Hopefully, the queen decides to grab this town hall. That would be wonderful. Just because there's Dark Elixir in the Town Hall, right? And uh, the only the only drill that's remaining is this Dark Elixir drill level... I think that's the level 2. So, not too shabby, guys. Queen grabbing that Dark Elixir. King is trying to go out of the wall. That's not good because of that Tesla. But if we can get that Tesla to go down, she'll start logging onto... Or locking onto that Town Hall and wipe it out. We'll pop her special ability, too. And she wants the Town Hall first. Okay, pop her ability... This will distract the Tesla. We're definitely going to get this town hall, hopefully. Why are... Why, what's up with all the skeleton traps? Come on. Get the... Te get the town hall. Come on, queen. Come on, Tesla. No. Yes. Yes. Let's close up before the queen dies. That was clutch, guys. Got that two-star with over four... Nearly, nearly 4,000 Dark Elixir, over 400,000 Elixir, and over 200,000 gold. That was beautiful. That was close, and I'm really surprised because that was a 10 10 and we still managed to grab all the loot. So that was beautiful, guys. I need some loot hype in the chat right now. Let's get some loot hype in the chat. I want to see it going. I need to see everybody out there saying loot hype. That's what we need to see. All right, so we got uh, probably one more attack, maybe two. Let me see, actually. I don't know. The Lunian takes 24 divided by that's six minutes. We got six minutes left in the boost. Roughly. We might have another attack after this one. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. Loot hype. Yeah, yeah. One minute to go, guys, before we can go back out for another army. Another, <laughs> use another army on another base to grab more loot. Because we are insatiable and we don't like to finish without getting all that we want to get today. So it's going to be good, guys. I'm looking forward to it. We have, what, 50 seconds to go? 6.3 million gold. I mean, we have done so well today. The stream has been absolutely lit. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are a new viewer, I want to remind you guys, if you're a new viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Klaus family, okay? We do daily Clash of Clans content, daily Clash of Clans videos and streams. Um, actually, we're streaming every day, Monday through Friday at noon, Central Standard Time, which is, was two hours ago. Yeah, we've been we've been uh, we've been going for two hours, and um, obviously videos every time that we get a chance to, and over the weekends as well. So lots to look forward to, guys. Also, be sure and follow me on Twitter for giveaways. And what other giveaway? I forgot what we're doing. Ray, what are we? Oh yeah, okay. So uh, we're also doing another giveaway for the most watch time on streams in the month of July. I think uh, somebody's about to hit a thousand minutes. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly. You're not on the rushed account. No, I'm not. I never said I was. <laughs> this is our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Alright, guys. Let's find us another base. The army is done and ready to go. Let's do this. Interesting base design. Not one I want to hit, but, you know. Let's try to find the perfect base. Class, you're a legend. Your streams make my day. How much watch time do I have? Nathan, what's going on, man? So glad you're still here. Um, I will have to check later. I can let you know on Twitter. Cameron, Yar, bro. What's going on, Yar, bro? What's, what's going on, Cameron? 
Um, he says that he, hey, he caught the end of the video. If you smack, if you ring the bell and turn on notifications or follow me on Twitter, either way, then um, you'll be you'll be notified and you'll be able to join the the streams when they start. We're looking for that perfect base, guys, for the last or the second to last attack of the video of the stream. We'll see, guys. We'll see how it goes. Looking for that good base. Obviously, we're gonna be a little. We're gonna be patient today. We have been so far, and it's been very, very beneficial. There is a dead Town Hall 9, but I need a lot more Dark Elixir than that, guys. We're looking for that 3,000 Dark Elixir. Not 2,600, 3,000. Come on. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. A level, or Town Hall 9. It's not dead, but it's sitting on over 4,000 Dark Elixir. We need loot hype in the chat for this one, guys. This is a monster. 445,000 gold, 484,000 Elixir, and 4,800 Dark Elixir. Let's identify where the Dark Elixir is. We've got one drill there and one drill here. So coming from the, from the north would probably be our best bet here. Um, and let's go... Let's go at one expo at a time. Those are air targeting expos. So first of all, we're going to snipe these corner. Look at this, guys. Look at that balloon. He's going to snipe this cannon. That's what I'm talking about. That's some value right there. Let's also snipe this cannon up here. I think we're going to be able to do it. Let's also put down these cannons for these... For the, I mean, I'm sorry. Let's also put down these balloons for these exterior air targeting defenses. And then get the rest in just like so. So guys, we have a an excellent funnel being established here. Hay spell and hay spell. Let's also rage the group into the middle. We're establishing our funnel very, very nicely, making sure everything goes in. We got a obvious Tesla farm in the middle. So all of these Teslas, all of these balloons, rage into the core, guys. If we can get rid of that X bow, I think we're gonna be peachy. Oh, and I forgot my minions. I was so focused on my deployment that I forgot my minions. That was rough, but we got all the Dark Elixir already, so let's use our heroes to get that Dark Elixir out of the drill. Let's do this. All right, so King is down, Queen is down. We're gonna need our King special ability pretty early to get through that wall, because it's a pretty strong wall. So we're gonna get through this wall. Enemy King coming up. Let's drop, pop, or let's drop him a poison spell on him. Minions approaching. We're not going to be able to get that Dark Elixir with the minions, though, because of that Wizard Tower. So I definitely want my heroes to come in and help out with that. We've got a couple more minions. Where's the best place to put these minions? we got an easy minion location there, but it's a low, a low-leveled um, Elixir collector. Let's put down our minions on these cannons on the outside. Very nice, guys. Things are looking great so far. I can't believe we got almost all that Dark Elixir already. I think the rest of the Dark Elixir is just chilling in the town hall, which uh, we might get to. I'm not sure that ki that king is taking some serious damage. Oh man, and that and that if that would have been awesome if that air defense would have went down. It would have would have been a good way for the king to go down. But there's no point defenses anywhere near. Only splash damage, so that helps. And I think the queen will actually go for this elixir storage pretty soon. There we go. Untouched by anything. Completely natural. All natural. Go, Betty. You got this. Look at that. Betty's hiding behind the dead king. Betty's the name of my queen, by the way. She's awesome. She's the best. All right, guys. So this wizard tower is doing quite a bit of damage. I really, really don't want to use the special ability, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Dang it. All right. We would have been so close, but now the queen is targeting the enemy town hall. So hopefully she is outside the range of stuff and she's going to grab this town hall. Nope. That is an archer tower and the queen takes a bite. Dang it. That was so close. All right, well, either way, the loot was monstrous, guys. Over 300,000 gold, 400,000 elixir, and 4,600 dark elixir, guys. We have definitely passed that 55,000 mark and are going to be able to put down our king at the end of this stream. Now, we've got 46 seconds remaining until the boost is over, but we have four minutes left until our army is done, so we're not gonna be able to do another attack. That was the last attack of the stream, guys. I didn't do my math right, but that's perfectly fine. So now let's pop over to our progress base and let's see how we're gonna spend our loot, guys. Oh man, this has been so much fun. The loot has been lit today. Definitely going to be a uh, a king going to level 
13 today, so that will be our fifth builder. So we have two builders to spend. We have nothing to spend elixir on, so we can go ahead and put elixir into our walls. So let's start off with that. Each wall is six is a million, so we can do six walls. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh one will be notched. So this is no. This is there we go. Six million elixir guys on walls. Definitely want to continue going with our wall progress. So let's get this thing going, guys. I have clan castle loot. Man, whoever said who, who who said that? Who said that right now? Next gen MLG gamer. You are amazing. Thank you. I, I one day I will have a way to be able to give people Klaus coins, and I will give you some. That was amazing. All right, let's collect our clan castle loot first. Oh man, 400,000 golden elixir. That will actually put us over with our gold to the next million mark. So that is awesome. We can still only do six walls. So let's go ahead and do these six walls. Six million elixir, guys, in three, two, one. Bam! Jonathan White has come into the clutch in the middle of my wall upgrade. Are you trying to throw me off, my man? With a $25 donation through Super Chat. And he says, another great stream, man. I take it you are not a fan of using Valks in War. I have found them extremely effective in Tunnel 9 War Attacks. Oh, oh no, no. So don't get me wrong, guys. The Valkyries are awesome. But I think the Hogs are better. Valkyries are third or fourth on my list. I like having strong golems for tanking. I like having hogs and Valkyries. I'm sorry, hogs and um, witches, but then Valkyries for sure. So no, I, it's not like I don't like Valkyries. I just like other things more. All right, so, oh, and uh, that makes him. Let's get some donation hype in the chat for, uh, for Jonathan White becoming the new MVP at the end of the stream, guys. $25 donation going toward the new CPU. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, guys, let's kick over and see what we can do with gold. All right, with gold. I've got 7 million gold. I can spend two builders. So let's see, what are the cheapest things? We're gonna finally be able to upgrade our new Archer Tower to level 10, which is excellent because now the OCD people out there can calm down. All these are level 10 except for this one. So let's get this thing going, guys. Two million gold. $2 donation through Super Chat. This is Alex Rodriguez. Thank you, man. Donation hype in the chat. Thank you, man. And um, the message is winter is coming. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We are past the summer solstice. That was June 21st. So shout out to Alex. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Every dollar. Uh, very much appreciated. Now, let's upgrade this Archer Tower. We're going to take it to level 10. 2 million gold upgrade. 5 days in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. All right. So what's the next one that pops up? Air Sweeper. 2.4 million. Why isn't it suggesting air bombs? I want to know what the deal is. I guess it doesn't suggest uh, uh, traps. That's super weird. Okay, so let's upgrade this air bomb. It's going to go to max level. Chase coming in the clutch with a late lava hound. Thank you, Chase. Now let's upgrade this air bomb to max because I want to get all my air targeting traps done. Actually, I want to get all my traps done as soon as I can because they're very low war weight. So let's do this, guys. One day upgrade. 1.5 million gold in 3, 2, 1. Bam. All right, move this air bomb up. And last but certainly not least, guys, let's do our walls. Actually, it's not last, but let's do our walls. This is going to finish up this third row of 44. Each row of walls is 44 walls. So we're going to finish up our third row today. This is kind of awesome. And we're uh, officially over halfway done with our walls. Let's do this, guys. Three million gold, spending the rest of our gold on walls. And then our last builder will go into our king. Let's do this, guys, in three, two, one. Bam. We need some wall hype in the chat. That was awesome. What is that? That was nine walls today. That was monstrous, guys. Just absolutely monstrous. And then the last, the last thing. Here we go. The last thing is going to be our king let's upgrade our king to level 13 today i've already opted out of war because i was hoping to get to this point point. Fifty-five thousand dark elixir i'm sitting on 58 so we just barely made it guys an amazingly prog uh, progressive is that a good word so much progress today during this stream let's do this guys Fifty-five thousand dark elixir in three two one bam good night king what are you waiting for there we go now he's gonna take his nap six day nap that is awesome Go ahead and collect. And guys, that is going to do it for today. We were extremely profitable getting all the loot that we could. We used up all five builders. And it was just 
unbelievable guys putting the king down to level 13 we're gonna try to get him to 15 as soon as possible and then once we get our king to 15 our queen's already to 15 and then we'll be free to upgrade our upgrade our x bows to level two so all that being said guys that is gonna be it for me today thank you guys so much for tuning into the stream had an absolute blast playing today and um special shout out once again to our mvp of the night jonathan white and um, be sure and follow me on Twitter, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe and join the class family if you have not done so. And as always, guys, I will see you all again next time.